Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Chelsea versus Real Madrid live on Woo! Pitch Side. And it's been a while, and today we're joined by Lewis. Hello. Sporting Hello. a very nice Scotland shirt, mate. Yes, very nice. Yeah, very what's nice. with the Scottish shirt? What's the <laughs> Tell by his accent. What, what, what's with the Scottish what, shirt? Uh, just for the culture, mate. Just Who do you culture. support? Uh, you mean club wise? Yeah. Actually, my Scottish team is Dunfermline, which is my local team. Less said about them, the better at the moment. Uh, and then my English team's Liverpool. And is it? I supported them when I was about five because I asked for the Pepe Reina kit for Christmas. <laughs> Why Pepe so Reina? I, I, I don't know. I just thought he was cool. And I, I was a goalkeeper growing up. And then I'd, it was the, I don't know if you remember, it was Liverpool orange with the black stripes goalkeeper. Yeah. I don't know if you remember. But I really liked it and I asked for that. Do you for remember Christmas. the Thayer's doing that thing where he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And he doesn't remember. No, Actually, of course no. I remember. Do you? Yeah. What did it look yeah, like? It had Carlsberg on the front. It was Carlsberg. Ah, uh, all Adidas right. as well. See? Nice. I think I don't know. So more. I didn't even answer the Liverpool kit. I just was like, I really like that goalkeeper kit. And then that's how I supported Liverpool, weirdly. Um, right. And you've got probably one of the best commentators in the British game. Yeah, Alan McCoy's brilliant. Go oh, on, give man. it a spin. Give it a spin. Give oh, it a spin. Oh, yes. Yes, there we go. McCoy's in the back. Look at that. Number nice. nine. So yeah, Chelsea versus Real Madrid. Now, on the way in here, uh, we think we went past the team bus. I didn't. Well, I think I did. <laughs> oh, about to be playing. I know, but then I realised it's half past seven. Yeah, impossible. And, uh, impossible. I'm not too sure. If it was a Chelsea team, he'd be taking the tube. Can you imagine if it was Real Madrid? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, how, what is the situation with Chelsea right now in the Champions well, League? Because they can't spend, what is it, more than is 10 that, grand can, on travel? Mm, I think it's 30 altogether. Okay. Is it 30 altogether? Yeah. Getting a whole team over to the away, away leg next season might be a bit... Next week, so it might be a bit iffy. Nah, yeah. they'll be fine. Do you want to run us through the starting lineup like, uh, from today, Reeve? Be like one of those... Two holidays <laughs> on discount. Do you um, for a starting lineup? Uh, you can if you want. Okay. Well, team I, I'm, news. I'm pretty sure it's Mendy. Go on. Just Mendy. Off, no, off I, I mean, off the top of my head, I'd go Mendy, Christensen, really good Thiago Silva, Azpilicueta, James, Kante, Jorginho. Alon Is Alonso playing? Well, I can confirm the lineups are as follows. In goal, we got Mendy. Wait, no, because then it would either be... Christensen. No, uh, yeah. Thiago Silva. Antonio Rudiger. I'm pretty sure it's Pulisic, uh, it's Pulisic, Mount and Havertz at top, isn't it? It is. Mm -hmm. We're the, it's a, they're playing a back five. Oh, no, Aspi's left back, isn't he? Left Aspi left back, back Rhys yeah. James right back. In I goal, did get 11. It's That's Kante right. back in the mixer with yeah. Jorginho, uh, Pulisic, Mount and Havertz. And then uh, for Real Madrid. Oh, this is an interesting one. They've got a bit of a, a shock right winger. Not that I watch much of La Liga, to be Valverde. honest. Valverde. Valverde on the right wing. He's been playing, With, yeah, he's but is he going to play there? I, I'm confused because it always says he plays right wing, but I'm like, uh, to me, I, I think he just floats, to be um, honest, but yeah. we'll see it in the game, I suppose. We'll, well, they've got arguably one of the best strikers in world football at the moment. Probably. Not arguably, probably, if not the best striker yeah, in world 100%. football at the moment. Karim Benzema. In terms of numbers, he's top right. With, to be fair, his old pal Vinicius Jr., He's on the left. You've got Tony Cruz, Casemiro, Luka Modric, who's been pulling the strings. Uh, Furla Mendy, Alaba, Eda Militao, Danny Carvajal, and in goal, Thibaut Courtois. Uh, we're also watching the... Oh, okay. Is that... Um, yeah, just to mention, whilst Theo's doing the lineups of the Chelsea Real Madrid game, we're also watching a huge game in the relegation <laughs> scrap for the Premier League between Burnley and Everton, and potentially a penalty to Everton has been awarded. And I think Anthony Gordon has won that pen. A penalty to Everton. A penalty to Everton. <laughs> Is that a pen? Wait, do you have Anthony Gordon? No, I don't have Anthony I think Gordon. a lot of people have him in their FPL team. So if he's just won a pen for Everton there, there could be big movements in FPL. I've had a stonker this week. Is that a penalty? I mean, he's coming. I mean, it's a stonewall pen, mate. I don't think that's a pen. That's that, a stonewall pen. Every pen in the Premier League, I go, it's not a pen, but in VER, that's a pen. That is a, no, I think that is a pen, though. Yeah, yeah, I don't really know. That's clear. I, I think, like that, I think he's bought that. I think if that's a penalty, then the Saka one is also a penalty, but each of their own. Yeah. Paul Tierney's not the ref in this one, though, I don't think so. Well, who is, is this DCL? Is it, no, it's Richarlison taking the pen. Richarlison taking the pen. He's been in fine form for, for, Ever, uh, for Brazil as well, by the way. He's been in fine form. Oh, he's got rid of his dyed hair. Yeah, shame about that haircut. I know I've not. No, he's he, it was a, lot blonde, of, a lot of people also have Nick Pope. So if this goes in, then that's good for people that don't have Nick Pope. If Nick Pope saves this, then <sighs> congratulations, Nick Pope owners. This is so. to make it one-one. Richarlison steps up. I reckon he scores. Oh, is that because he's pretty solid at pens? Either that, or he's going to sky it. This Mike, Mike Dean is longing out. Here we go, Richarlison. He is going to take it. He's running up. It goes. 
passing. Oh, good penalty. Yeah, it's nice. Solid. He's, has he done that thing where, like, is that what all Prem players do now? Just wait for the keeper to go and just roll it bottom. So what? Bottom yeah. I'll tell you goal. what, Tony's Tony's coming to this league and everyone's going. Actually, I want a bit of that penalty technique. Let me sh- let me try and do that. No one can do it. Yeah, no, no one, one can, can do, do it, like it as well as him. Mate, I don't know if he's ever watched the old like Champions League matches. But it's it crazy seeing how much the keepers used to come off the line. Yeah, Dudek in the 05 oh, final. Same, same with, same with Dudek. Yeah, yeah, incredible. both of them. Jumping so, forward every penalty. Do you remember when they made that rule change, though? Like, they were really, like, doing it over the top. Like, if a keeper mm-hmm. moved, like, a centimetre off the line, they'd be, like, pulling it back. I feel like they've gone... they found, like, a good middle ground at the moment. This is a proper scrap now. This could yeah. be high scoring. It's already 1-1 one, one in 17 minutes. Bloody hell. Well, they're both t- going to be going for it, aren't they? So, two massive games. got a relegation scrap between... Everton and Burnley and then we got at the other end of the spectrum Champions League football Champions League footy between Chelsea and Real Madrid who do we think is going to win lads? I think it's going to be a draw and it goes to the yeah, I think, the, to I the think fake Bernabeu I think it's going to be a mental they, I think they're back in the Bernabeu now. oh they're in the proper yeah. one now because they were using the uh, there's another big game on tonight as well though, to be fair but I mean you'd expect Bayern Munich to win that one so well, who, who, well they got well, Villarreal yeah. no, they're no joke Villarreal yeah but Bayern Munich like Best team in world football. Yeah, ish. are they Bayern or ish, City? Ish, ish, ish. Yeah, we'll I'd, I'd Liverpool and Liverpool and City are, but yeah, Bayern, had, Bayern had put in a strong third. Wait, who do who do we think are going to win tonight? Sorry, who do, uh, tonight? Who, I think it's going to be one one. One yeah, one. Personally, yeah. I, I want it to be a three one, but my heart says just one one. And for you? Yeah, one one or two two. I think. So you goal, both goal you, goal draw. You both going with the draw? Yeah, but both teams to score. See, I'm going for Real Madrid away win. Which is quite surprising because Chelsea are actually unbeaten. No, I, I don't think that. Uh, well, given the lineups, I don't think that's surprising. Like the, the Real Madrid team is ridiculous, isn't it? Well, Chelsea, but it's paper, weird, though. No, it, it is good to be surprised because Real, uh, Chelsea are unbeaten in the last eight against Spanish sides in European competitions. Really? The last yeah, I think defeat I've seen a stat in the last five games against Real Madrid, they haven't lost. Yeah, well, it's eight I against Spanish sides, and the last the last time they did lose was uh, one 0 against Valencia. They are under Lampard. S- they either absolutely smash Madrid off the back of getting whipped by Brentford or it's just like a downward spiral and this is the start for when Arsenal and Spurs finish top four which they will which they will do Arsenal yeah. will finish third it's going to happen um, it's obviously their first game back after losing 4-1 to Brentford I mean if you look if you think if you think about it logically if you can't beat Brentford how are you going to beat Real Madrid I just said that did you? Yeah, I just said that they lost four to Brentford. So oh right, right yeah, but what I'm match. saying is like, how? Why can you expect them to draw against Real Madrid, but they can't beat Brentford? Champions League, isn't it? Reece yeah, James is back. Anything happens in the Champions League, doesn't it? You got to remember the the difference in th- they also played a back four against Brentford, which I never understand. Like two shows doesn't play back fours. What did you think of? Um, and Rudiger got completely found out in a four. So they've did gone he, back to Oh the my three. god! Did you see Brentford's uh, <clears throat> TikTok? No. Y- yeah. You know the TikTok the, admins. You know the. Um, Oh no! What's it? Oh, what's the one? The the sound effect. <laughs> Look at this dude! Oh my no 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 no! Yeah. no. And it was just mocking Chelsea after Rudiger scored the goal. Yeah, because Rudiger does this on his celebrations, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> That's a perfect. <laughs> but he's actually. An, he's actually a cracker though. What? Rudiger. Rudiger. Like he's, he's he's crazy. The guy's oh, yeah. crazy. He takes he takes like thirty six shots a game. Mate, on a personal from level from like 45 yards on a personal level I actually really would need Chelsea to win this game because I need Thiago Silva to respond to my cameo <laughs> what you booked a cameo off? I booked a cameo off Thiago How Silva how much is that? a lot like 500 quid? no a little bit less than that why? for a shit for I'm making a video but um, obviously they lost 4-1 to Brentford and he hasn't replied since oh no so I'm hoping they beat Real Madrid just for that cameo well, imagine if he lost 4-1 to Brentford and has to do a cameo for Theo Baker <laughs> Like, that's going to just fin- that's going to finish him <laughs> off, mate. Finish him off. Yeah. Get me out of there! <laughs> oh my god, that'd be funny. Look at that touch from Val Veghorst, mate. What a unit! What a boy. Is, is Christiansen one hundred percent going to Barca in the summer now? There wasn't that. Confused. I don't know. Barca are getting everyone for some straight. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I'm not really sure how. Oh, I still, I know, I still find it crazy that Adama Traore went from Wolves to Barca. I know Barca aren't what they used to be, and he's smashing it out still, there. By the way, is, he is. All of the new signings at Barca right now are absolutely playing their socks off. They're doing fantastic. As Richarlison puts it over the bar. How many minutes is that? 22. Mm-hmm. 22 minutes in. We're just a couple, about five minutes away from a kickoff between Chelsea. I haven't even given my score prediction yet. Go on then. I'm going to go for 2-1 Real Madrid. Okay. Nice. 
Yeah. Scores. Um, so Benzema is going to score. He, yeah, I think that's no brainer. And Money Mace will score for Chelsea. I think so as well. And then the winner is going to come from. I think Benzema scores first. Yeah. Benzema, put Chelsea, your, put Chelsea your money where your mouth is, mate. Back it. Chelsea, mate. <laughs> Benzema first goal scorer. Benzema first goal scorer. Go Chelsea on. to make it one or Mason Mount, and then Luka Modric will actually score the winner. Do you, Do you reckon? Think? Yeah. And it's crazy that he is what 30, 37 now, yeah. and he's still. Is he? No, he's not captain for Real Madrid, is he? Is he? Yeah, but yeah. No, Benzema is. This is where you have sure. to look at the different bracket of footballer in the world. Mm -hmm. This is why Messi and Ronaldo are so elite. Because Modric is the same age as Ronaldo. Mm -hmm. Everyone's like, oh my God, we can't believe Modric are still doing at this age. Mm -hmm. But if you look at Ronaldo, everyone's like, we expect it from him. And they're the same age. Yeah, uh, well, the only reason why I've seen Different position, though. Yeah, centre, mid is, centre mid is hard to keep that up at yeah. 37. People were comparing it to like Xavi and Iniesta because at 37, they were wherever they were. You've got to have yeah. legs to be the engine room of Real Madrid for like uh, nearly two decades. Yeah, I'm not yeah. denying that at all. Oh, he's Spurs actually as well. To be fair, but yeah. yeah. What do you think of the jacket then, lads? Real Madrid. Yeah. I didn't even nice. notice. Oh, it's yeah. pretty good. Nice. You like it? Yeah, it's nice. A Real Madrid just Span obviously don't. Support yeah. Spanish to be fair, yeah. you have, have to back them today, otherwise yeah, you can't rock up and yeah. that clobber. We, we had this discussion. Oh, I've got the zip cord. Hang on. Oh, I've got, oh no. Oh, you've ruined it. Oh well, that jacket lasted long. <laughs> Brand new jacket, and Theo's. What do you think of the jacket, guys? Oh God. Theo bonked it. Oh no. Everyone. No, well, we're having a discussion about who is my Spanish team because, ironically, Deportivo La Coruña. <sighs> oh my God! Yeah, I've got for free. Oh, I can breathe. Ironically, I was actually raised a Barca fan. Raised? Well, I was obviously an Arsenal fan, but like you know, like you always have like a team you follow abroad. His family are just feral yeah, Barca yeah. fans. <laughs> 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 what, I, my cousins live in Barcelona. You see. Oh shit! What's going on here? Um, oh, defending. So I got. Oh, is that another pen? No. no, so I got like pictures of me outside the new camp and all my bar. I've got so many baskets at home. Uh, but the, oh, it's a Pepsi Max advert, the, and it's made me want a Pepsi Max. Oh, mate, we're not sponsored by them. Can you not say that, please? Yeah, but I can still. No free adverts. <laughs> you got an Adidas kit on me. No, <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I, had a, I had the Real Madrid tracksuit when I was like nine or ten, but then I also had the, the iconic. Remember the the blue Barca Messi top? Yes. The, the but that, that was the thing. Like I got the, attracted me as like the. Uh, the Galacticos. Yeah. Like, I love the players who play for Real Madrid. I was going to, I didn't have a, I don't have a Holland top. But I was going to wear one <laughs> for Vecos. If I had Vecos, I don't have I, one. I, I, would have, I really would have liked to. But. Do you know some really sad news what happened to me today? Your jacket got stuck. Huh? Your jacket got stuck. Well, okay, a second bit of bad news then. So, obviously, that uh, Vecos SBC that came out on FIFA, you know, like 89 rated showdown oh, card. Yeah. And obviously, for me, he's like a big hero of mine. He's a big legend of my, my channel. Yeah. And uh, I was like, shit, I forgot about him. And I went to go complete him. Disappeared. No, but um, I was like panicking. I couldn't buy the players in time. And then at 6 p.m. I hadn't completed it and it disappeared. So it did disappear. That was really yeah. sad, actually. You just added a bit more to the story, fair enough. Yeah. That was really sad. Yeah. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, after what feels like half an hour waiting, um, Chelsea walking out. Oh no, Azpi's captain. Oh no, wait, that's not who we were talking about. Mohamed Jr. No. Everyone seems to have got rid of their blonde dyed hair. No Jorginho, no Richarlison. Thiago Silva ain't got it anymore. What's the deal with that? I'd like to see more pink hair in the Premier League. Right now, isn't it? More pink. I'd yeah. like that. I think I think Neymar and Mbappe are the only ones that've had pink hair. Has Mbappe? I think he did for a. Did he? Or, or did he have blue hair? Yeah, he had blue. Was it pink? Definitely had blue. Was it pink? I can't remember, but he had light blue, didn't yeah, he? Neymar's had everything, I think, but. I'd love to see like Andy Roberts in my pink hair. Mate, this game is so open given the fact that it's Everton versus Burnley. Oh my God. So obviously I backed Real Madrid to have an away win, yeah? Mm -hmm. Maxwell Corne is down. <laughs> Carry on. Yep. Real Madrid's last away win in the Champions League came against an English side. Or against an English side, sorry. It was in 2014-15 when oh, they won 3-0 nice. against Liverpool. Since then, they have lost five on the bounce against English teams away. It doesn't is really matter. Break though, the curse. They, they, they won three in a row, so I don't think it actually matters. Could break the it? curse. Mm -hmm. Do you think a lot of that stuff's just a load of bollocks? Yeah. Do you know when everyone's like, oh, they've not won here in seven years? <laughs> that doesn't really matter. That's nothing to do with it. Or is yeah. it like a mental thing? It's not thing? like they play against each other like every. It's week the different that. teams from seven years ago. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, think, I think managers that have been in that situation before 
as managers for that team, maybe there's a psychological effect on them in that case. But players that, you know, like, let's just say that it's the first time a player's played in that fixture. They're not going to be like, bloody hell. Mm. I'm very conscious that we've not won against Chelsea for seven years. Yeah, no, that, you know, so. Unless it's like a big derby. Yeah, yeah. Unless there's genuine pressure on them individually. Yeah. I don't think they're going. Wait, so they think, hang on a minute. So BT, I think, and it's a three in midfield with Pulisic and Havertz up front rather than a Jorginho Kante sit. Mm, I'm, yeah, I don't know. They'll pro- we'll probably see once the game gets underway. It might be just to the fact that um, uh, Real Madrid play a flat three in midfield. Yeah. So you just got to try and man for man mark them. I'll tell you what, Benzema looked like he woke up you, feeling dangerous today. If you give like Cruz, Casemiro and Modric too much time on the ball, then they just tell you a new one, don't they? So. You know what I was thinking about Benzema? And I'm not saying he is definitely rated, but I think over the last decade, he's quite underrated. I agree. Because I I yeah, yeah, he's done it for so long. I fully agree. Yeah. Oh, it is Isn't actually he, Valverde right wing then. He is yeah. the second highest Champions League goal scorer after Ronaldo. Really? By yes. Is close. <laughs> you don't seem shit on that. <laughs> well, I think so. Yeah. Or is Messi second? I've just chatted shit there. Am I correct? Can we get a Champions League goal scorer record check, please? And I know this is a weird system. time? Yeah, because nah, it'd, be, it'd be like Raul CR7's or something. First. It? CR7 is first. I don't think it's one of those. See, in the last five years, Sadio Mane is one goal away of becoming the top Champions League goal scorer. He's literally like one goal behind Ronaldo. Uh, but he scored last oh, Messi night. is second. When's Who's Ben? Who's third? Where's Benzema? Oh, Benzema's fourth. Of oh, all yeah. time. Okay. There you go, that's pretty good. So an all-time champion league goal scorer. So no Sadio Mane? No Sadio Mane. Um, <laughs> no, but in the last five years. Oh, they, in the last five years. Last five years, he's one goal behind Ronaldo, I'm sure. I've seen it last night when they were playing. I'll tell you what, Real Madrid do have a nice kit. Chelsea's is nice as well, though. The three, the, be the, nice when the, it's threes are, the threes are a little bit ugly, but like the actual kit and pattern is nice. You go Stanford Bridge, With like the lem, uh, the like the lemon trim under the lights. Chelsea kicking off, shooting from left to right. Real Madrid, not in their all white today. They got blue socks because Chelsea play in white socks. Ah. Intentionally, well, no, because they obviously have to kit clash with the home team. But that's what I mean. So they've they've. Just They've had to change on. the socks. Yeah, yeah. You know how really? Arsenal, so originally oh. their, their kit is a white yeah. sock. But you know how Arsenal the other day had to play all in red? Yeah. And it looked really weird. Yeah, it did look weird. Oh, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know they had to change Red the shorts, socks. wasn't it? We, yeah. ne- we never play in red shorts. It just yeah. looks strange. Real Madrid and blue socks. I never knew that. That's did interesting. Yeah. No, I never knew like if the, the socks clashed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here we go. Kick off between Chelsea and Real Madrid. Champions League. I don't think Mount is playing centre mid there then. Yeah, he's, already, he's already yeah, just he's gone already straight to left wing. Or right wing. Sorry, yeah, right wing. Pulisic and Mount look like identical from a distance. You think right? this is how it's going to go? Chelsea just dominating possession. I reckon Reese James gets oh, a goal. Oh, here we go. Go on, Money Mace. He puts the ball, ball in. Ball. Early deliver. That's a pen. No, no chance. You supporting Chelsea? No. Yeah. <laughs> He's Real Madrid. You got a Real Madrid on. kit on. You said they were going to win. You got to stick with it, mate. What? You also said Benzema first goal scorer. I told you to put some money I just get on excited it. by football. I'm a football fan. Football's the winner. Football fan. You've watched <laughs> one match of the day in about 10 years. I'm a football. Yeah, I watch the highlights, though. I watch it more than you. So the current. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> bollocks. Um, do you want to know a few more facts about Real Madrid? Yeah, go on, Fear. Where on. are you getting this information from? You're so uh, knowledgeable. What can I say? So. Um, can't even read him out. <laughs> Benzema yep. is actually currently second in the standings for the Ballon d'Or. Behind who? What, right what? what do you mean? For the next year? We know the Ballon d'Or doesn't mean that much, to yeah. be fair, especially lately. No, not after Lewandowski it's, got it's robbed, gotta be, yeah. It's gotta yeah. Be, it's the next Ballon d'Or, who's, who's, who's number one at the it's moment? It's got to be Salah, uh, hasn't it? It's got to be John McGinn. Yeah, John yeah, McGinn. That's a good shout. It's got to be John it's McGinn. Big John. Yeah, Salah or Lewandowski. It won't be Salah right now. Who are you going for? Be Lewandowski, wouldn't it? And you're going for Salah? Yeah. The answer is Lewandowski. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, 21 22 ATM, he's scored 51 goals. Yeah. <laughs> Benzema's actually second with 37 goals. 37 and 37, isn't it? Yeah. Something like that. Um, and Mbappe scored 37 goals as well. Salah with the 30. I no. tell you who deserves to be there, deserves to be in, in with a shout. John McGinn. Alexander Mitrovic, man. <laughs> He's, could, he's got more goals than a quarter of clubs in the National Football League. But why can he only do it in the Championship? I've seen a, a, a tweet saying it's like when you get dropped a set in school and then you start doing really well in that class. He can only do it against semi-pro. Yeah. You can't do it on professional or world-class world, world, world class at the moment, can he? It's like you at Shoreditch, isn't it? 
the thing is in Fulham set up very differently I world class as well Fulham <laughs> set up very differently in the championship to how they set up against Premier League teams because Premier League teams are obviously way better in like terms of goal for class yeah. so Mitrovic they doesn't up, get they set up to service. attack in the championship exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well what do you think of Atletico last night against City shocking, playing the 5-5-0 five, five, formation KDB oh, came shocking. out and moaned it about it, didn't he? Anti football, or is it actually. No, it's genius. By, it's genius, genius by Simeone, oh, but no, I mean. It's depression to watch, though, isn't it? It is depression, depression. to watch. But, but you, in a, in, you can understand it, because, like, in a league that's been dominated by Barcelona and Real Madrid for so long, mm-hmm. to come in and put your style of football on it and then win La Liga. Well, they obviously lost last night. Yeah. <laughs> Which makes it even more embarrassing. But they only lost by 1 0. So. Yeah, but it was at the Etihad. That's exactly. Not bad it's result, not a bad isn't result, it? is it, really? The like, away goals still, don't mean anything either. No, exactly. They've, got a lot, they've still got a bit to do, though. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Like, Do you think it's a good thing that away goals got took away? Oh, I loved away goals. I loved it. It uh, added if drama. Only if, it was in, if only if it was in it your favour. It was only your favour, exactly. Yeah. 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 And like if it is in your favour, you fucking hate them. Yeah, but I know I, I think they should have stayed. It added a bit of excitement and drama. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I guess it. I, I guess you could say it's now fairer. Yeah. Like imagine yeah. going out on a tie where you've scored the same amount of goals. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And like how much? It would, no, but to be fair, you wouldn't. I don't know if I like the rule change because you wouldn't get the moments like PSG well, that's, Barcelona. No, that's what I'm saying. I, I that wish was it that stayed. was probably one of the best oh. football matches in history. Yeah, hundred percent. And it only. It only happened to be that good because of the away goal. And in a team with, you know, Biscuits, Messi, Ooh. that lot, Neymar pulled the strings. It's a save point for Mendy. Yeah. I think that's off target, wasn't it? Speaking of yeah, rule probably. changes, I've seen a TikTok and it was like, if you could change one rule of football, what would you do? And they were saying, whoever wins the penalty takes it, which I think would be cool, but they, they wouldn't do it because it obviously like damaged records. And, and also that. sometimes, how do you decide who won the pen? Well, whoever goes down and if it was like, like a handball, handball whoever takes it. Touch it. Do you know what? We've been rather rude so far in this stream. We haven't really acknowledged anybody here, so I'm going to do some comments. Oh. Well, Ed, the Edinburgh Derby is this weekend. We'll be watching, someone says. Yeah, I won't be, no. Uh, currently, my team oh. done fell. Oh, Kai Havertz, sorry. We're playing in the Kai Havertz, big Kai, cuts inside, and he absolutely nails one over the bar. Well I've, got, I've got a fact for you about Kai Havertz. Go on, my, my mate played for Celtic, and he said that... Hello, Bernie when Chip. He's, 18, he said Kai Havertz was the best player he ever played against. And who was Kai playing for? Leverkusen? Yeah, I'm guessing so. Because so your like mate plays for Celtic? He plays for Inverness at the moment. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. Is he good? He, he, was, he was unreal in school. I don't really watch Inverness. But, um, <laughs> I always watch the highlights if he's playing, though. No? Well, is he a forward defender, midfielder? Oh, uh, in, uh, Inverness have he that. He plays centre back, right back. Inverness, Inverness Catalonian Thistle. They have yeah. that uh, psychedelic sunflower, don't they? Is their mascot? Uh, yes, they do. It is they absolutely do. mental. It's the uh, worst mascot in football at the so, moment. Because he got, he got the boiler for the first time, and it said it, he said it was like he was like five foot eight when he's, he's like six foot four. Oh, he'd be fuming. He'd be absolutely fuming. And he was like the Who's fastest. Kai Havertz. No, 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 my, my mate, my mate. No, but he's like six foot four. Is he? He's tall. He's no, really he's tall, isn't like he? Like six two, maybe. I don't know. I think he's, he's taller. He's lanky. Really? He's lanky. Yeah, I, th- I think Havertz is tall. He's, he's. I think he's taller than Lukaku. Can we get? Can we get a check on that, Andy? Really? Yeah. Can't be taller than Lukaku. Lukaku's six five, isn't he? Six three. Lukaku is a giant. He's just big, isn't he? Yeah. But Havertz is Havertz is definitely uh, smaller on FIFA than he is in real life. <laughs> Havertz. Yeah. He's t- he's way taller. Can someone actually um, answer me a question? Is Kai Havertz left footed or right footed? Left footed. Is he though? Yeah. Are you sure? One hundred percent. So just from FIFA knowledge. Takes his penalties left footed. Oh. Yeah, but Usman Dembele takes. His yeah, but he, left and right yeah, but that he that kid just is. Santi Cazorla a... takes everything left and right footed. <clears throat> I've never seen him smile once, Usman Dembele. He always just looks because really he's always sad. injured. Bless him. He just looks really sad. He's playing well now though. One thing that always surprised me about footballers is hello Jamie. Them are so tiny, aren't they? Who? Footballers are always so tiny. Well, their shoes are actually... The majority of uh, footballers are actually like a size 7. That's Partick Thistle. Oh, sorry, Paul. What was it like at Ibrox? Were most of them small? Were they big tall? They're all small small feet, yeah. Apart from... Um, apart from... Who's your mate? Sorry, what's his name? Someone asked... His name's like, Wallace We've Duffy. had a goal in the hang other on, game. Hang on. hang on. No, wait, let me see. Uh, Wallace Duffy. Wallace is he, Duffy. Is, he, is, he, is, his name? is his name. Shock result, lads. By Munich School. Villarreal, 1-0 up. No oh, way. Villarreal really? are 1-0 up. Really? Yeah. Oh, my God. Fair play. Villarreal. I mean, that's good for Liverpool fans, if we go through. Villarreal. That is mad. Yeah, I did watch the Celtic Rangers game at the weekend, and it was good. Old firms are always good. It's, it was. It is so end-to-end, that game. I love old firms. I watch them every single time. They're brilliant. Yeah, it was sick. Yeah, it was good. 
big Aaron Ramsey. Yeah. Against Joe Hart. Who are the biggest feet? feet? I'll tell you one you would, you would be surprised with. Guess what size feet David James is? 14. Something like that. Lewis? Uh, he's definitely. Got, he's got to be more than 13 because it wouldn't be impressive otherwise. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was quite shocked. Size like, 5. It's like a 10 and a half, 11. Oh, oh, that's oh the other way. Yeah. That's not shocking. That's no, not shock. He's I'm like a, a six ten, to I'm two guy. Enough. That's standard. Keeper, I just thought keepers have big feet. I'm ten and a half. No, they've got they've got big hands, not big feet. Big socks. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, interesting. But yeah, Villarreal. Yeah, if you'd have told if you'd have told me he's got tiny hands, I'd go bloody hell. That's bloody impressive. Hell. Dan Juma won the lot. Parejo assist as well. Dan Juma, who do you used to play for? F- quick fact check. Oh, who was his last club? Someone in Holland, I imagine. No. Uh, no idea. I'm just Valencia. trying to think of FIFA. That's Bournemouth. Oh, really? Oh, was he not? Yeah, was he on loan there then? Don't know, but he played for Bournemouth last. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Hang on, what's going on here? Is that another penalty? VAR. There's a VAR decision. VAR! In the Everton Burnley game. Oh, well, that's a pen. That looks. Is Richarlison going to get a brace game. here? Mikalenko. I need to see that again. He's dragged his foot though, hasn't he? Was that not going to get given? A lot of people in the chat also guess Bournemouth. Well done. It's kind of hard to see away from here. We've got it? a lad watching from Mumbai. It's 1 a.m. right Mumbai. now. Mumbai? Yeah. Need a penalty in the. It needed penalty for Burnley. He listens to the not, podcast every week on his evening walk. You can't really tell from here if that's a pen, can you? Oh, hang on. Jamie's just pointed. Is something happening in the Chelsea game? No. I, I don't know why he's pointing then. Oh. <laughs> VAR check still going. VAR! On Everton Burnley. <laughs> Rudiger with another 45 yarder <laughs> shot? No. Watching from Glasgow. Hello, mate. Yeah, where are you currently watching from, everyone? Let us know in the chat right now. Is that going to get given? Oh, so Bournemouth had Dan Juma and they sold him to Villarreal. Oh, oh, so, oh, oh. here we go. Oh, Real Madrid, oh. it's Vinicius Jr. No, it's... Oh, oh. Is that, oh! oh! Vinicius Jr. No, it's Vinicius Jr., yeah. Yeah, that was superb. Oh, is that a corner or is it off the bar? Uh, uh, he's clean. Mike there. Dean's he's gone to... to also in the Burnley game, Mike Dean's gone to the... Uh, it's all kicking off to the, to the TV, so I think this is going to get given. You never thought like two months ago we'd be talking about the Burnley Everton game. Yeah, he's that, that Champions League, would you? Is it? No way. Oh, it's off the bar from Vinicius. i tell you what, though. Do you remember how... Look at no, Forrester up there. Oh, that Benzema flick back inside was fit. Why is it so Big. wet it's in West London? That's what she said. East London wasn't... <laughs> Did you say that? Um, think how far... I, don't, I think we should all be proud of Vinicius and Kareem. Is Richarlison going to get another penalty here? I hope Nick Pope doesn't save not. it. That'd be fine. Do you remember when Benzema and Vinicius just hated each other? They were like, "Don't, don't pass to each other. Don't pass to each other." It's a penalty. As it's another penalty for Everton. Oh, Richarlison. Who has Richarlison? Anyone? Oh, hang on. Can you just put your phone on? Can you take your phone off? Can you stop looking at stuff? Yeah, stop ruining it. You had the score up as well. No, I don't. Stop yes, looking you at did. Stuff. Stop ruining it for everyone. Um, well. No, stop! Stop! I'm not ruining it. <laughs> I want to see what happens. what's happened yet. Oh, it's a goal kick. What? No, it's not. No, I think you just... What's a goal kick? Oh, thought, uh, it like what are you... What is it, go- it looked like Pope was setting up a goal Mount's kick. Mount's got a corner. Richarlison's got a pen. Where have you got a goal kick from? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Richarlison's looking dangerous from the spot. Will he beat Nick Pope? Oh. oh, yes. Yeah. If you're Down a Burnley middle. fan, you'll be fuming, won't you? Two penalties, and then Mount can't beat the first man by falls. Two. I can't believe Richarlison's got two goals here. What Does is anyone that have Richarlison in their FPL team? Lunatics, mate. Hon- honestly, Lunatics, mate, I've not, I've not touched my FPL in like two months. Uh, I mean, since like the second month of the Premier League. Yeah, you need a you need a big I you need a big forfeit really, really. to get you into it, really. Yeah, I've heard that because they always talk about football, and then they're like, "Oh, we've got like bets on in that." I was like, oh, "That makes sense." But yeah, I mean, I actually, has a has Havertz or Benzema had a shot on target yet? Mm, don't think so. No. <laughs> Who were West Brom playing? He's here at Bournemouth. <laughs> I didn't put that on though. Uh, we've got a question for you, Reeve. Yes, sir. Hello, Theo and Reeve. I have a question for you guys. As you're doing an Ironman marathon, I'm doing a half. Oh, this Ironman. is more you though, because I'm you're, not. You're actually doing part. half marathon. I'm doing half Ironman. <laughs> well, I'm doing the full marathon. I've been the walking, half is cancelled. He said it? he's been walking 500k steps every month since October 2020. Is that healthy? Is that good? Yeah, it's good. How much is 500k steps a day? Like 18,000 somewhere. Bloody hell! Oh. That's a lot. Oh. I was thinking, right? See, 
if you were to do a YouTube video, do you think you could do a hundred thousand steps in one day? Like if that was I your sole commitment. I saw someone. I, saw, I was thinking about doing it for a video. Sixteen point six thousand. I saw so. someone do that once. Hundred thousand. I think so. Yeah. Mm. I could. I, I, when I ran a marathon, I could find out how many steps I did. Yeah, it's, it's all probably not that much. Silly you know. things, isn't it? Like probably about twenty thousand steps for a marathon. Mm. No. Twenty thousand. No. Chance. More. It's got to be more. I done. I done eighteen thousand steps yesterday. And that Eighty. Was Eighteen. Not 80,000, no. Oh, my God. Um, do you want me to find out how many I did in my marathon? Yeah, go for it. Yeah? Yeah, go for it. Should do it. So yeah. just do it, guys. Um, Can I ask you a serious question? How do you like do a marathon and all these triathlon stuff, but you get knackered at football? It's completely different. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, I know it's like a structural exercise is different to... I'm, I'm the opposite. Like, like I... I will admit I don't have the mental strength to do like long cardio. See when I do the treadmill, it's the most depressing thing. I hate it. I hate it every second of it. I literally don't have the mental strength. I couldn't to do, do more than five k on a treadmill. Really? No, I'd have to go outside. You just have to. I just if I do long. D- oh oh oh, it's a pen. It's not even. It's not even inside the Free box. Free kick to Chelsea on the other box. <laughs> and and if Ed Militao gets a book in, he's gonna miss the away leg, and he does. Is that right? Yeah, he does. He misses the away leg now. Nineteen k per day, is it? There you go. Well, that's what you do. No, no, the the oh. in 500. No, that's 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 really good. That's that, yeah, that's. I mean, the whole ten thousand steps a day thing is completely arbitrary. Like it's, somebody randomly made the number up. It's not like if you do nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine, you get no benefit, and then as soon as you do another one, you get. Especially for YouTube, I mean, you just, just, just whacking a podcast, yeah. honestly, whacking pit side, and you'll go for hours. Mm. I'm trying to find it now for you, lad. Yeah, I've always found out like, running what, therapeutic. I agree. Music so. never works for podcasts. I think it's best for running because it makes time feel. Like I only ever do. I only ever do uh, music if it's a like a five k something short. Mm. Anything longer than like a ten k, I just whack an old pod out. Yeah, and anything. I don't. Like, I, an don't I don't. Well, apart from when I did the full full forty eight, I don't really run with anything. I just like to think to myself. My cycle to Brighton, I had no headphones in. Yeah. I need to because sometimes it becomes, it sounds weird, but see when you're like really pushing yourself, you come overwhelmed when you have like music in your ears oh. and that as well. I need to just take them out. Like when I did put the headphones in for the um, Ditchlin Beacon, <laughs> but yeah, I had goosebumps going up that. Here we go. Chelsea free kick. Ooh, oh, ooh. oh, it's a good effort and a, it's a relatively easy save for Courtois. Was that Reece James? I think it was Reese. yeah. That doesn't help your bet. What do you mean? You need Havertz. I need Havertz one shot on target, Benzema two. Yeah, that's what I mean. I still can't believe happen. He, no, but he I mean, I mean you're better off with Havertz taking a free kick. It's going to happen, don't you worry. What pace do you all follow when you have walks or runs? It depends on the distance, mate, a lot of the time. You can't you can't really do like a 5K pace for a 20K run, you know? That's very true. You cannot. Right, it's all relative. so... Vinicius Junior is actually a baller. He should go to a big club, you know, soon. 11th of June, 2020. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find it now. You know, ben, you know when Benzema goes, and Mbappe obviously stays at PSG when they like pay 1.5 million euros a week for him or whatever yeah. they're doing. Yeah. Oh my God. What do they do? Like, what, do, what did Real Madrid do? Who, who do they get? Like the striker? Yeah. I mean, like, they've got nothing. Like, they've got nothing left. They don't have to, they just have to beat, beat Man City to Erling Haaland. Or Kane, yeah, literally. Kane's not going to go. Tammy Abraham? <gasps> Tammy Abraham. I'd love to see him. Tammy him. Abraham as a replacement for Kareem <laughs> Benzema. Um, like, I mean, Don't knock the lad. You've not seen his goal scoring tally for Syria. It'll be, Syria. It'll be Mitrovic, mate. Yeah, I've seen his goal scoring tally, tally for Syria, but. What? Benzema's what? tally is very different, isn't it? Uh, to answer your question, Lewis, mm. the marathon I did, I, ra- I did 50,000 steps. Yeah, I knew it would be 20,000. So it's definitely doable to do 100k steps. You just have to walk for 24 hours. Yeah, well. It's all little things. You can always run on the spot and get them really quickly. Like today, I've done eight thousand. Not that impressive, but oh, that's pretty good, I'd say. Um, right. I'm just reading the group chat. Hmm? Spurs. What? Group, the group chat. I mean <laughs> YouTube comments. Yeah, I'm reading the YouTube comments. Sorry, my bad. My bad. My bad. How many beers we've had, bro? I played Nothing. Courtois on pro clubs once. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Who? He's a big I, pro. I, sh- I shushed him. I shushed him when we scored. Who? Oh, I was. Yeah, was I on his team? The keeper. We was played it? Him. Played him a pro club. Wait, because he's it? in like an esports org. It was like a. Oh, really? Was it like a charity thing? Yeah. Yeah, because I was on his team for that. It was him, an English rugby player, JCC, and uh, I can't remember the other guy was. But um, yeah, I once uh, played a foot champ, like a random foot champs match, mm-hmm. and twenty minutes into the game, they score against me. 
like, fuck, I'm 1 0 down. And it was Diogo Jota's 99 Pro card. <laughs> oh, was it? I was like, oh, this bar says, so game on, I played Jota. Yeah. I love you, that as your accomplishment, not that you played with like Kaka, mate, literally. Like, no, I nice played Jota on foot champs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, Are Burnley going to get a penalty here? I hope, you, I hope so. What do you think uh, Chelsea's chances are from getting to the final? As uh, good as anybody else's. Yeah. It's, They're it's, one of the teams left. End of the day, mate, Champions League. <clears throat> you think Real Madrid could win it? No. Really? No, I don't think they've got I enough. think every Liverpool fan wants I don't, I don't think. I don't think this Madrid side have enough to beat um, City or Liverpool. I'd love to see a Real Madrid in the final, though. Real Madrid, love Liverpool for like revenge from the uh, yeah. I'd love to see that'd that. Be, that'd be good. Hang on, is Rudiger getting a yellow card there when he won the ball? That's that's a bit outrageous. That's a booking for a dive. Valverde getting a booking. Federico. Is he not? Why is he getting played on the right though? Is that Ancelotti masterclass? Is it? It's probably because he's quite defensive, so he tracks back for when um Ooh, as Pelicano. Oh, that's a knee clash. That is that's a dead leg. So Rudiger booked. One more and he gets Harsh red. yellow, that. Harsh yellow. But to be fair to Chelsea, if they do manage to get through this, Real Madrid aren't going to have Eden Militao, which will definitely help their chances. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So half-time between Everton and Burnley. The score is currently 2-1 to Everton. Frank's loving it, mate. <laughs> He's <laughs> definitely not loving it. Oh, he probably is. At the... Oh, my <laughs> Lord, that was close from Courtois. Right, Thiago, make sure you do my cameo. Do you think that Frank Lampard's been unlucky, or do you generally think he doesn't have what it takes to be a manager? I, I think he needs a bit more practice. Because I think when you look at someone like Steven Gerrard, people just, just the aura, I'm being biased, I'm a Liverpool fan. No, no, I, like, no I do agree with you, I'm a neutral. Like, just the aura about Steven Gerrard, you're just like, yeah. Frank's sort of like, yeah. I think he got unlucky at Chelsea, you know, he was in a very difficult position from the start. Yeah, that's not... And I actually think he was doing a not, not bad of a job, to be honest. Mm-hmm. And as, obviously they won the Champions League, they won. No, did they win? End of the season without them. Champions League. Yeah, yeah they two, did. Two 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 came in and they won Champions League. Oh, is that a shot on target? No. Odd oh, mountain anyway. It's going wide, I think. But like, I don't know, Frank. I think Frank just needs. He to... set a good foundation for a better manager to come in and do. Yeah. Like, how job. good of his job? How good good of a job did he really do at Derby? Not very. I mean, Villa got promoted, didn't? Like they, the only so. reason Chelsea got him because he's super Frank Lampard. Do you think Wayne Rooney has uh, in him? I think, Ro- I think Rooney, at first I was a bit like, oh, what's he like? But I think he's doing a really good job at Derby. I hope he manages to keep him up. I really do. I, I, I hope he does because... Ooh, we've had the nod. We've had a nod. We've had a nod. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. No, can we not, can we not do this? Well, he nodded. What do you mean? He just nodded. He just, just ignored the nod. Anyways, Real Madrid, Ed Militao bringing it out from the back here. Plays it into Danny. Danny plays it into Tony. Tony plays it back to Cassie. Cassie to Tony. No, that wasn't Tony. Sorry. <laughs> There's two Tony Cruises according to you. <laughs> oh, go on. Ooh. Oh, what a ball. Penalty then, surely. Oh, go on, Benzema. It's going to be a Benzema goal here. Oh, I oh, it! There we oh, go. Go on, Benzema, oh, first goal scorer. Oh, why did I put that on? I told you, he, put your money where your mouth is. I said that to you. That is such a good header. You were talking about shots on target. I was like, goals. I said, I said, if you back yourself. He does it again. I said, if you back yourself. He does it again. It is incredible. Just like, how? See, I told you we got a nod. I can see a yeah. TikTok brewing. <laughs> Honestly, I can see a TikTok brewing here, Jamie. No, because you because afterwards we said, if you back yourself, put money on it, and you went, mm. yeah. No, you cut that out. Nah. So Vinicius spends him a link up once more. Is banging. Honestly, they went from hating each other, refusing to pass That's each other. That's such a good finish That as is well. such a good goal. Look how far away that head is. That right? head is behind him as well. Once again, proving why he should win the Ballon d'Or. That's a good ball. Watch, in, now bro. watch Lewandowski just bang a hat-trick. Should Mendy Real. do better there? I don't even know. Is it still 1-0 Villarreal? It is, yeah. Jesus. Wait, that is such a good header. Oh, my days. No, nah, to be fair, Men- yeah, Mendy can't really do much about that. That's so much power as well. Mate, that is, el- that is just elite of elite. He's so good. I've always wanted, wanted to head. Who did you say next? Uh, I said Mount to equalise. And then Vinicius Junior winner. No, Modric winner. Modric winner. If that comes in, that's probably that like 150 to 1, by the way. Uh, so you should have put a quid on. Yeah, I've always thought 1 1 or 3 1. I'm still going to go for 1 1. <laughs> so, yeah, you just took th- those kind of bets, you just chuck two quid on. If it comes in, you win 300 pounds. Yeah. Well, yeah, well. That's where gambling addiction starts, mate. Yeah, that's why I don't do it. Anyways, Chelsea now. All no, but I mean, if you, call, if you call it in. 
we're on a live stream. Yeah, hindsight's a beautiful thing, my friend. Yeah, it's very true. It's very true. Go on, Chels. Go Ooh. on, Chels. Go on. Oh, Casemiro said no. You're not coming in. That's exactly why Valverde's playing right wing as well. Yeah. Because mm. he just it, look at where he is now. It's, yeah, he's filled so in it like right wing back. Oh, it's interesting now. <sighs> oh, look at me, big Real Madrid fan tonight. Who How is it? it that wet? How is it that wet? That is what she said. <laughs> Stop. She, why would she comment that about herself? Did you see how awful it was earlier today? <laughs> Wait, it was thunder and lightning. Thunder oh, went, went I heard from it. from sunshine to thunder and oh. lightning and torrential downpour. I mean, I love thunder. It's I like just, us in the I, Amazon. I just love listening to it. You know, like tropical ra- rainforest downpour. Yeah. It's absolutely world class. I really think... Real Chelsea haven't win. been the same since that cup final. I really, really think Real Madrid could win this this Champions League. Who Chelsea got the weekend? Southampton. Oh, yeah, we said they'd win, didn't we? Here we go. Luca To deliver it oh. in. Oh, oh Benzema! Oh, 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 there's the two! What? There's the two on target. What? You just two on target. I said that. Just, I said that. You just need a Kai Havertz. I said two goals. Like, never mind two on He's target. so He's fucking cool. good. That head is a joke again. That He's head is so an absolute good. joke. Holy it's an absolute fuck. joke. Modric assists, so unfortunately no Manny Mays, but Modric assists, so if Manny Mays does score, that's quite close. <laughs> Benz was not only on a hat trick, but I tell you, a hat trick. I tell I you what, mate. Head hat trick, mate. This guy is so fucking good. That's why I backed him. Yeah, I, I won't I, have Benz Maslanda around here. This is this is just this is the start of the this is the start of the downward is, spiral, mate. mate Chelsea no, no finishing fifth. Him. What a That's ball from Mod. Look that- at that header back across yeah. the keeper. Again, again she- Mendy's got no chance. Ch- no, he's got no chance. Mate, his whole body weight is on his How? right foot. Think about it. How are you generating His whole body weight is on his right foot. You're generating so much power going backwards. That's incredible. His whole body's on his right foot. There's no way he can get to that. He's such an elite do it. That's his 69th Champions League goal. How old is Benzema right. now, by the way? 33? I'm guessing. Old, I think, I would say. I- Big bloody Benz. Thiago Silva's not going to do my cameo now, is he? <laughs> no. I give my That's, money back. He doesn't look in this spell at me. I need my money back. I'm questioning whether or not I should play Reese James this weekend. I think Southampton are going to beat him. Yeah, man. I don't think I should play him. Oh, who's going to get a hat-trick first, Benzema or Richarlison? <laughs> <laughs> and what a debate. Oh, oh, look. N'Golo. Ah, it's just oh, behind give him. me a Havertz shot on target, lads. Yeah, that's all you need, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So see what the cash out is. Well, if it's far too many, it'd be like, it'd be, it'd be Wait, what, what's it'd be the other like 10 one? quid. What's the other one that... you've got? What's the other one? That's it. J- just the two shots on target? Yeah. Oh. Um, and uh, Kai. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a good ball. Go on, Charles. Go on, lads. Here we go. Have it. That's oh, a pen. That's, that's a pen. That's a, that. Ooh. That's a pen. That should be a pen. It looks like a pen, but we'll never see until the replay. Sometimes it looks Are we going like... to get VAR in that? Yeah. VAR. Oh, there's VAR and everything. Benjamin's words. 34. Thank you, uh, Pilco. Appreciate that, lad. I'll give us a pen here. Does he get a touch in it? That's a pen. He ran into him, didn't he? I mean, that's the that is the same as the first. I'm only calling it a pen if Havertz takes it. That's that's oh. the same as the first Everton Look, pen. He, to he be ends fair, Georgie Mill would take it. It is the same. Shandy Where Mill? is the consistency? Yeah, I mean, if that, give if, me the two one. If, the, if the Burnley penalty, if the Anthony Gordon going down there is a penalty, then that should be. a penalty. It looked like he ran into him though more than. But he's come across him, hasn't he? I mean, that's basically how they've won the. I'm rooting. I, I, I called 2-1 Real Madrid. You both idiots said Chelsea are going to win this game. I didn't see Chelsea. No, I said 2-2. Honestly, two, you two. don't know ball. No, I said 2-2. Two, two. I, I said... I what, said either draw. way, you don't know ball. I said 1-1 one, one off If it ends Madrid. up being... You're two, in the presence of greatness. If it ends up being 2-2, two, two, then I want a full written apology. All right? That's fine Ooh. by me, but unfortunately it won't. So Lewandowski or Benzema for Ballon d'Or? Bit early, though, It'll be it? fucking messy again, won't it? We've got... We've got, we've got <laughs> They'll an, find a way, won't they? We've got another, <laughs> we've got another five months. Surely. I don't know. I still can't believe Salah came seventh in the Ballon d'Or. Deserved. Deserved? Yeah, they all listened to Booby. No, <laughs> I've seen his takes, mate. Shocking. <laughs> Antonio, what's he doing? Big Rudy. Nice, composed, into Jorginho. This oh, is, This is good practice for Rudiger when he goes Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> so Barcelona's going to take Rudiger and Christensen? Yep. 
Who are they placing? Yeah, Chelsea, like? Chelsea, Chelsea, are Chelsea are going to be left with Chalobah and Melanxor. And they're not going to be able to buy anyone because he can't sell the club. <laughs> oh, Chelsea. Well, they can get Mark Gahey back, can't they? So, I Who? mean, he's Mark Gahey. Who's he? Crystal Palace centre back, like one of the best players in oh, the Premier League. Oh, sorry, right? I thought you were talking about like an owner or someone. No, like no, as in they just recall all their loan players, don't they? Broya, Gallagher, Gahey. I still can't believe one's Liberal gone. They, they had uh, everyone at one point. goes, is Danny Aaron's on the pod soon? Uh, can we confirm that? We don't know. Neither Hopefully confirm nor deny, but Hopefully yes. one day. We'll have to see. Very soon. Oh. Oh. I'm really rooting for a Havertz. Something here. sooner than you think. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna pour myself a glass of cranberry juice. Nice. Good for your prostate, that. Really? Right. What does it do? It's pretty mad that Chelsea just get absolutely dicked at the Stamford Bridge to Real Madrid. So Real Madrid are actually gonna potentially break their English side curse from the last yeah, seven years. Well, I said so. I oh, isn't, Tam- yeah, isn't Tamori still on loan at AC? Yeah, exactly. just get everyone back. I know this is very, very, very niche, but I wonder if there has been a header hat trick in the Champions League before. That is actually true. The only person who I reckon who would have done it is probably Giroud. Has <laughs> <laughs> he even scored a hat trick? Oh, my <laughs> word. Oh, a- AC Milan bought Tamori for a permanent. Oh, mad. You should have wrote I am Tamori. That would have been funny. <laughs> a little soft. You ever seen these? Treble, mints, and cranberry juice. <laughs> Let's try it. Nah. Get that one in the stomach. I don't think it does it. Oh, okay, he's permanent at Palace. So there we go. He will not be coming back to Chelsea. Is he actually? Gallagher's not there, is he? No, he's on loan. I didn't know Broho was on loan either. Yeah. Where does that come from? Cobham. Who the bloody hell is Broa? You know what I mean? He's been playing well for them. I probably shouldn't eat this too close to the mic. <laughs> Benjamin Who's that? Oh, it's Benjamin. That's Edwin Militao. Flying header. Easy save for Mendy. Bloody hell. Remedy on fire. No defence is terrified. George Benson is right, right now. just like... I was thinking that a lot. Do you think the world Absolutely Greg, your defence is, defense is on tyres? Probably the best football chant ever. ever. I think so. Ever. It's got to be. Ever. The best. We and then don't... from that song, he was never on fire ever in, again. I was in a, <laughs> a club in Monaco. Mm-hmm. And that song came on. And I look around me and no one's singing it. So I had to, ch- I had to start it and I was still the only one singing it. Aww. They were singing the I've actual lyrics. Sad story. It's, got, it's, got, it's got to be the best chance ever. I was like, well, oh, Greg, on fire? Uh, no one. Where is he now? Is he retired? <laughs> well, Greg. Right. Yeah, you just live in royalties off the song. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> I wouldn't live Well, in, Greg's retired. Livermento as well. What are you talking I said that. Oh. <laughs> Did you just fart? No. What were you doing there then? What? <laughs> you did, didn't you? <laughs> I didn't. Oh. Why did you look at me like this then? Well, Greg's at Rotherham. Oh, did he? Oh. Uh, uh, he wasn't playing. Oh. He went on fire, though. Jamie, unfortunately, had to witness um, the Papa John's final of certain United getting robbed for the manager style to Rotherham and Will Grigg, but Will Grigg wasn't playing, so. I'm going to see. Who do these lot get in, this, in the next semis? Is it Villarreal by him? Uh, that's Liverpool. Man City. So it's Man yeah. City, Madrid. Because that's why Liverpool can't meet Man City before the final. Yeah. So the winner of this game plays either Man City or Valletico. Yep. Yes. Oh! Could be a Ma- uh, could be a Madrid mm. affair. That, that'd be good. If Latico managed to pull off the comeback of the century against Man City. Oh! Reese James! James. Oh. Go, go, Evans! Oh. I just want a shot yeah, on target. That's okay, mate. That's, that's why I don't do it. Sorry. Reese James is a bit naughty, you know. Maybe I'll put him back. <laughs> I still can't believe he shoots the Liverpool fans and then lost the penalty shoot. More importantly, looks like the biggest game of the season is about to continue. Second <laughs> half. Uh, yeah, what do we think of Karen Dunne? Karen I didn't even know what you were saying. What do you mean? Now. I, mean, I think it was a good, he's, he's, I think it was a good attempt. I didn't really know what you were saying. Injury wise, or. Everyone's saying that. How long is he really out for after his surgery on his knee? Season. Has it ruined Palm his chance of Qatar? The rest of the season. No, because that's in the winter. But it's an no, injury. No, no, mate. Scotland will play him with one leg, I think. <laughs> yeah. Has it ruined Arsenal's chances of getting top three? It's ruined their chances of winning the league, mate, 100%. <laughs> 
we just see. Yeah, like, I mean, if we have to play Nuno Tavares, I can't again, wait. I, I think we're going to be fucking. Honestly, screwed. we play Jack or left back. I can't wait for Arsenal to get top three <laughs> and everyone's slander just to. Now I tell you what happened. Tommy Esso will come back and then Cedric will have to play oh, left. Oh, back. Here it, oh, oh, oh my God! That touch oh, oh. was disgusting. Was that Danny Carver Howe? Benjamin, right? No, Danny Carver Howe. Benjamin, wasn't it? No, Danny Carver Howe. See? Oh, it was Carver Howe. I know ball. <laughs> Look, it's an accidental touch. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, it is, it is, it is. But That's something I'd do at Shoreditch, definitely. Oh, you would. I didn't know yes. you were a goalie. I always wondered why you're well good in goal. That makes sense now. <laughs> I, I, I was a goalie. So, mate, honestly, I had anger issues as a kid, right? So I was in goals, and then I'd be so angry that they'd sub me at field for the second half, and I'd just go and slice like, that. Just on absolutely run Mate, I'd, I'd be... Oh, I was just uh, such an angry kid for whatever reason. Oh, I love it. I don't know why. Angry kid. Oh, yeah. Until, yeah I, until I was about 13, 14, I had bad anger issues. Oh. Um, Where's your jumper from? My pro. Very nice. Yeah, it's an old one though. I like it. Mm. Very nice. Uh, what's your favourite kit on the show at the moment, Lewis? Uh, on here? Yeah. It's got to be the Bayern one. I knew he was going to say uh, that. The best Bayern kit have you ever seen in 1994? Uh, 1944, sorry, one. Oh, the badge. I know, that. <laughs> I know that one well. That was a fantastic oh, what kit. A classic one. <laughs> I know that one. You know why, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who's we'll not mentioned it? Nah. Wasn't uh, the proudest kit. What, what, I think people can work out. I'm waiting for classic. People, people, people can shirts. work out what was on <laughs> the badge. They've, they've got it in store. People oh. can work out what was on the badge as well, given the year that. I might whack on the Real Madrid shirt if you don't mind. <laughs> you just have it on the show. Should I lack this one on? Should you put it on? You would have got one on. You're going to put it over it. <laughs> Are you going to hang that up there? I was going to. Yeah, I was going to. You're such a fair weather supporter as well, man. It made, Real Madrid started losing, you'd have taken that off. Mm. I backed Real Madrid from the start. I backed Benzema. I wore the Real Madrid kit. I've not once said I want to support Chelsea. Say Val Vegas going to score two goals this half. Val Vegas will score two goals. I've got, I've, I've, got a, I've got a question for you. What was your first ever football kit? Uh, it was the Arsenal 0405, and it had Dennis Bergkamp on the back. That's cute. Cool. Mine was the it was Ronaldinho, the oh. blue Brazil top. Do you remember oh. the one with the so number? First ever kit. Yeah, like you, I think again, I was like if four I'm or a, five. I got the Ronald Dinho. I don't top. know where the kit is now. That's, that's a classic football shot. My, my yeah. <laughs> what was your first kit? Oh four, oh five, Arsenal top with Burkamp on the back. What colour? Red. Ooh. <laughs> no, no, no. The, uh, I'm the only saying kit. that because my, I think my first one was the dark blue, light blue patches. Yeah, but yeah, but you're like four years older than me, so. It... Oh yeah, yeah. No, I'm not. I'm two. And Golo, Sky is it. I need to know what, how Tarkowski's he's, looking dangerous. I need to know how he's never angry. Like he's just happy. He's, he's a just, happy he's man, just, isn't he? He is a happy man. He's composed. He just gets home and just goes with a punching bag and lets all his anger out from the day. <laughs> how dare they say that to me? Did but they don't the, even do they. No. Did you see the video of him getting a birthday cake in the in no. the, the French team at no. um, the training ground? No, no. that's cute. Oh. He's very cute. Everyone's at dinner and they bought a big birthday cake and he's just there smiling his life away. And go look cute. Huh? Mm? <laughs> <laughs> right, as like a shiny bald head. <laughs> Where are you going? With these dodgy hips. <laughs> Is that you from football yesterday? Yeah, honestly, it's my gluteus maximum. You're having an espresso. You know what? Not? Bro, it's half eight. Yeah. Okay. You're not gonna sleep. I've got a film to watch tonight. What? what? Film? Life of Pi. Oh Jesus. <laughs> no, I don't actually know. <laughs> Who was the nicest person to me? Uh, Ibrox. Mm. What was it like at Ibrox? I'm a mad ting fan. <laughs> Don't you're that, you're, you're Celtic, right? <laughs> Am I Celtic? No, I just I support Dunfermline. family. He's Dunfermline. Oh, okay, okay. I don't support. I, mate, that's like my most asked question by like any person. Celtic no, no, I just I didn't know if you had a preference. But they do say you... like every Scotsman is either Rangers or Celtic. No, so I support. That's kind of the reason why local teams don't do well now because they've like when my team started doing shit, everyone went and picked like Celtic or Rangers. I'm like, no, yeah. I'm going to stick to one of my teams. Do you know who I was for a while? What Scott? Uh, well, so I say Scottish team. Who I was? Gandalf. Aberdeen. Gandalf. Yeah. Ab Aberdeen. No, the only team, the only two teams you could be that were decent on uh, FIFA Career Mode 2005 mm. were Yeovil or Hearts. Ah, yeah. Like it was Yeovil or Hearts. So you picked Yeovil. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but for me, when I'd always think of a preference over Celtic or Rangers, and since I was a Liverpool fan, like when Rodgers was at Celtic, I preferred. Yeah, but you—that's what I mean. Like you said, your friend was at Celtic. I just thought you had a I, bit. He, of played, a... he played for Rangers that, as well. He played for oh, Rangers for like five years. Then he went to Celtic for like seven years. What? No fucking way. He got, he got kicked out Rangers. Had a fight. <laughs> oh, and then and then he basically like created his own grudge and was like, ah, oh, well if I I can't go anywhere, I'll just. I'll go yeah, to Celtic then, and piss them all off. Then he went to Celtic, yeah. And that's crazy because you can't wear, like, any... Like, you can't wear blue anything. So, like, if you've got blue boots, you can't wear that. Oh, my Celtic. God, lads. Really? Yeah, or, if, or like, yeah, Rangers, you can't wear green boots. I can cash out for 55% profit. Wow. No, gamble, mate, gamble. Only 37 minutes in. That's not 55. That's 155. 155. You've got 15 quid on, on top of your tenner. Yeah. Take it if you want. My first one in about but Kai five ha- years. Imagine Kai Havertz gets subbed on a half, off a half tenner. He's not oh, Tiago Silva's just launched one over the bar. He's not going to, though. He's I think thinking about that cameo, mate. Havertz will get Honestly, he needs, he, need, he, needs to sort his, he needs to sort his act out, Tiago Silva. If I don't get that cameo back this week... Wait, I need to ask why. Why did you do it? Do the video. Ah. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. I've got a couple replies already. Ooh. Do you know who? Yeah, sure. I didn't think you were going to mention. Really? Yeah. I bet that second one was so fucking boring. <laughs> <laughs> I've not actually watched them yet. <laughs> you already know who that is. <laughs> oh. oh, do you? Oh. Oh. You just received a nod. Oh. Oh. Oh, Fear's just trolling. Oh, here we go. It's Chelsea. It's Chelsea. They're on the attack. Did who, we get, it's did we get Antonio. It's Antonio into George. George into Thiago Silva. Did we get a nod or are you just waffling? I'm just waffling. Oh, uh-huh. oh have you got notifications? Oh, somebody. Oh. No, I'm actually, I'm actually chatting absolute horse crud. Come on, Jorginho. Oh, no. Who's it going to be? Is it a Mason Mount goal? I don't know. I don't know. Havertz goal would be. I don't know. Bet coming just in. Don't mate. get me excited. Where's Havertz? Is he Reece in the James? Box? Oh, Jorginho. Who is it? Oh, oh! I told you to stay in. Mate, only if you went for goals. Mate, that's the first one. Yeah, you should have put goals on. Two goals, Benzema, one goal, Havertz. Well played. Call me a tactical genius. (laughs) Oh Uh, my golly gosh. This is looking good for the 2 2 now, though. Oh. Yeah, they all laughed at you, mate. Yeah. They laughed at me. Well, oh my god. Villarreal 2 0 up. (sighs) That's that's really good for Liverpool. Should Courtois do better there? Or am I being hypercritical? Uh, I feel like he gets enough on it to palm it round, but uh, I mean, if you get a hand on it, it's just really luck. Especially it is very fucking, wet as well. How wet it is, yeah. That's what she said for you. Huh? Sorry, yeah. I'm just, no, it's just good, mate. Engrossed in my winnings. It's good, Helen. How, how much have you won? Into the corner. Won sixty quid from what? Tenner. Look at you go, mate. That's a good. That, that's a good omen for Kai Havertz against Southampton at the weekend. Just thought I'd put that out there. Hmm. Oh, big Kai Havertz. Who Chelsea got Southampton? Yeah. Yeah, I might bring him in, you know. Yeah, yeah potentially might do as well. Depends if he gets the full 90. If he gets the full 90, then he might. Uh, Lukaku might play. In. <laughs> Which one are you? Put no spoiling goals in the chat. All that's going to do is make people spoil goals. <laughs> Oh, 2 1 Chelsea. What a game. What 2 1 Everton. <gasps> Everton nearly scored. 2 0 Villarreal. Who Richarlison got... nearly no got a hat way. Trick. It's man like Francis Coppola. Ah, back to VAR, back to 1 0. Oh, uh, yeah, only 1 0. Okay. Uh, okay. I've got a fun trivia question for you. Hit me. There's only one Scottish player that's won the Ballon d'Or. Do you know who? Is it Kenny? Kenny no. Dalglish. It's not Kenny Dalglish. Oh, no, it's no. Dennis Law. Dennis Law. Dennis Law. Dennis Law. Dalglish yeah, never... Uh... No, everyone always thinks it's Dalglish, but it was Dennis Law. Surprised... Um... Fergie always raves about him, doesn't he? Oh, my God. John McGinn should have won it. Oh, my God! Oh, oh my God! What a save from Kareem. Mendy! That would have been a hat. Benzie Hattie. Richarlison nearly got a hat-trick. Benzema nearly got a hat-trick. <laughs> I don't know who's better. <laughs> Tell you what, this game is end-to-end stuff right now. Honestly, Real Madrid are well That's good. such a good pass as well, though. Who's that, Valverde? Or Modric? That's a great pass as well. Uh, mm. Oh, but you know what? Benz has to score that. He has to score that. Look, this is a... He has to score that. I think he doesn't expect... Oh, do you know what's happened there? It's a pen. That should be a pen. Jorginho's touched him. Right. Has he won the ball? No, he's not. He's put it off. 
If Jorginho didn't foul to him, be fair, to, to be fair, watching that back, it's a straight red. <laughs> I've never seen anything, anything more apparent. Come on, Val, do something, bro. I really hope Burnley win the game. It's not going to happen, though, is it? And nothing, oh. nothing against Everton fans. I just my brother just texted me going, "You won the BT." I go, "Yes." <laughs> Don't try and log in. <laughs> my career's at stake. <laughs> not a lot of this. Everton getting more of the ball in the Burnley game. I'll say it again. I'll say it once. I'll say it again. Habits just as good as Mbappe. I, I really, I wouldn't. I uh, know. I uh, uh, no. Well. Lewis confirmed that his mate said he's the best player he's ever played against. So. That's true. That's true. I don't think he's ever said that about Mbappe. Yeah. Hashtag Havertz greater than Mbappe. I think he was he was a year above my mate actually Mbappe. He's ninety eight. What in uh in your school? In terms of like years, Mbappe would have been like the year above my mate. What you didn't go to school with him? What uh, did I go to school with Mbappe? <laughs> Probably. Wait, not. what year? You ninety seven? I'm I'm ninety nine. Oh yeah. Yeah. Young. He's ninety two. No, I'm not. I'm 94. He's 90. He's 90. No, he's 30. He's just turned 30. 32. My birthday's in May. My birthday's actually the North London derby. No. Yep. 12th of May. not. How old do you feel? 25. No, I'm not. Just turned 26. Oh. 96. That's cute. Yeah, do you remember that birthday party that we went to that was yours the other day? (laughs) Remember? Oh, the England game. Yeah, because it was your birthday. Would you ever get me for my birthday again? I got your card in a I know. badge. It's my birthday in two days. Is it? Yeah. You're going to be turning Wait, what? 23. You kept that under wraps. We were just yeah. talking about... Turning 23. Else? 23 in two days. Which, is, which is an ugly number. And I'm feeling 23. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Uh, 21 is obviously a cool number. 22, Taylor Swift made it sound cool. And 23 is just a bit ugly, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not really a big fan of 23. I swear, there's a, I swear there's a decent footballer with 23 is their number. Who is it? There's a decent what, sorry? Footballer with, a, with 23 is their number. I can't remember who it is. Yeah, it was David Beckham. No, no, currently. Well, it was David Beckham, though. Gallagher, there it is. There you go. It's 23... CG23. Twi- it's 23 Luis Diaz. I'm just looking That's good it. knowledge, Jay. I'm going to... I swear Diaz is Yeah, Diaz is 23 as well, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> what, number, what number would you be? What's your favourite number? Like, what would you... Like, uh, I'd, I'd think... <sighs> I'd pick 19 for Clash. 19 is my favourite. Really? Do you want to know why? I'd, I'd love... Uh, I'd love... Whoa. I'd love four... But I always get given five because somebody else always picks four. Oh, but I, I think if it. I was going to get my number outright, it would be 12. Really? Why? It's why my 12? birthday, isn't it? Oh. Mine's is 19, and do you want to know why? Do you want to know what's ni- why it's 19? Uh, you, my favourite number used to be nine. <laughs> but then when Fernando Torres left Liverpool, I was really petty about it. Oh, we got a nod. Go on, be very ghost. Burnley. It's Burnley. And oh. it's 2-2. Two, two. None other than Vlad Faircott. Oh, it's Jay Rodriguez. Fucking hell, man. Is he still going? How have Burnley got Jay Rodriguez and Aaron Lennon? Oh, for side? fuck's sake. <laughs> it's like a care home. He was, he was 1.2 million cheaper as well. What a load of shit. That's absolutely superb. Four goals and Veg Horse goes. At least we've got two good games going on here. Ghost Horse. Yeah. Who's got the assist there? Is that... Okay. Charlie Taylor. So hard to tell from here, mate. Yeah, it's Charlie Taylor, isn't it? I'm going to. Withdraw. It's good ball in, to be fair. I mean, it's just hit him, but. I'm Jay going. Rodriguez, mate. What a player. I'm going to withdraw my money. What money? My winnings. Well, you've got nothing else to wait on, do you? No. Okay. And put 60 quid on Benzema, head and hat trick. <laughs> Benzema. I could put 60 quid on Real Madrid to win. Mate, is, I'm not an idiot. You could this is that. enthralling. Middlesbrough Fulham, nil nil. Is that, is that half time now? Yeah. Half time. Real Madrid 2. Chelsea 1. Benzema 2 goals. Havertz with the reply. Um, lads, do you mind if I nip for all? No, no go I mean, for it, Number mate. 1. Do, do, do what you want, mate. It's half. Do what you want. Well, at least we've got football to carry on going through this half. Yeah. We've got the bigger game of the two. Burnley. Come on, Deitch Ball. Reeve, I see a lot of your viewers talking about your love for John McGinn. Why do you love John McGinn? I just love him. Are you an Aston Villa fan? No. No, I just love John McGinn. He is. I we, think he's... I we think, meatball. I think, yeah, exactly. I think he's one of the most underrated players in the Premier League. I think... 
Pers- I know I'm Scottish, so it'll be Scottish. And he's got guys. one of the best bunders in the Prem. But I do believe he's the most underrated player in the Prem. Yeah. I just want to say if he was English, I think he'd be 50 million. Uh, yeah, I agree. Just want to say that. And he's obviously Big John. Yeah, meatball. Do you think Aston Villa will come good under Gerrard? Because I think they will. Yes. Long term. Especially if they keep hold, hold a Coutinho. Yeah. It makes me sad. I think, he will, I think he will stay as well. He probably enjoys playing under Stevie. Well, I don't see why you wouldn't. Like, yeah. you can either go back to Barca, be subpar and barely get a game. and then or, or stay at Aston Villa and actually score goals. Did anyone see this being 2-2, by the way? Two of the worst attacking teams in the Premier League Mate, the, and, the, the and there's it, been four goals Mate, it's like one of our football games or it's just end to end they're just going for it this makes me think that Norwich Burnley might end up being yeah. like 4-4 <laughs> yeah my um, quite concerned I think uh, my team Dunfermline were up um, 1-0 in our relegation battle <clears throat> there we are oh we're, my grandparents Scottish they are well my nan's side is yeah I'm a quarter oh, Scottish guess. That's us winning one now. We're bottom of the league. Well, second oh, ball. get in there. We've got like four four or five games to uh, save the league. Alexander Mitrovic has more goals than your entire club this season. Just thought I'd put that out there. Mate, honestly, this is embarrassing. Our top goal scorer, I think... League has, goals as well. Has uh, five goals. It was four goals before today. But that's when you know you're having a shocker season where your top goal scorer has five goals. Shocking defense. Both been shocking oh. defensive. I oh. don't... I, not necessarily. Like, Everton have been bad defensively, but Burnley aren't woeful defensively I they're probably they're like mid, mid-table defensively but they have lost Ben Mee which is a big miss obviously I mean the fact that they shipped they, they've, they've conceded two to Man City at home and they've also conceded two to Everton <laughs> I wouldn't really put Everton on par with uh, City attack wise but each to their own how do you think uh, Liverpool Man City is going to go Sunday 1-0 City you think yeah it's either that or it's going to be one of those that I just can't be asked to call because it's going to be like 2-1 well, it, Man City it's, Liverpool it's, is always high scoring it's such a, well it's I always mean, like 4-3-4-1-3-1-3 in, three, in, four, in, three, in three, 2020 nine. it was a 0-0 wasn't it so, um, but yeah it's one of those that I can see like seven different results yeah, possible um, everyone's getting like superstitious because the last time we bet City it, it had was like 2015 and that, I think that's when Firmino scored like I don't know if you remember the game. Yeah, they're, like they're, they are. I think their record against Liverpool, well, with you guys at the Etihad, is ridiculous. Yeah. I, I can't remember the last time they lost there. So, mm. old firm thoughts. Quality game of football, to be honest. Yeah. End to end. I thought well, the, I thought there'd be more goals. Oh, but it wasn't end to end in the last thirty minutes. It was just Rangers, Rangers, Rangers. Yeah. They just couldn't put it away, which is just interesting. I just love it being as good as a game as possible, really. But. It's nice to see Rangers are doing better than what they were. That's pretty much the league done now, though. Because there was, yeah, pretty much, unless Celtic massively bought away, but that won't happen. I love that they, they've signed like they've got like five Japanese boys now, and they're all yeah. great. I love that. Yeah, they have. And um, what's his name? Jan Makulis or something. Yeah, the, the Greek. The Greek boy. No yeah. idea how to pronounce his name, but uh, he's been he's been really good. I hope it happens. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get that. Wait, what that. What, 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 are what are you talking about, Lewis? Why are what, they referring what to we're talking about? you as being level headed and me being crazy? Yeah, that's what I don't understand. I've just Someone asked the said question. You're level headed. Kyogo, what a baller. Oh, and they've got the best jotter in world football. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Huh? But no, they are. Um, the old firm's always brilliant. Jakumakis, that's it. That's the one. Yeah, I just don't have to pronounce it. Are you guys going to Qatar? I don't know. <laughs> not sure I, I don't know if I, I that's that. CrossFit London by the way that's where I did my membership oh uh, sorry my CrossFit level what, 1 right there no oh. on the, <laughs> don't on the if, bench if, press don't of, if you guys know but Reeve is now a CrossFitter on the bench press of that uh, of that see. advert that's CrossFit London he's now a CrossFitter Freezy did a video there recently so. see, I, I'm trying yeah, to get oh wait did you go to that one what video CrossFit London wait is it down like an alleyway yeah when did he do that with you with the world's strongest woman have you just run a video? Mm, no, because nobody knows what the video is. But. Oh, no, I did it with an army sergeant. Oh, no. Maybe it's different. It in the summer. Yeah, out. but it's the... Oh, oh last, yeah, last year. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying not to get too excited for the World Cup. Carter Vickers, yeah. In case Scotland don't qualify. Cause then I'm oh, yeah, so who do you have to beat to qualify? Well, we've got, we've got Ukraine, which obviously... What happens if you can't play that game? We'll just get by, won't we? Oh, so you will end up going? Yeah. No, because um, then they no, play Wales. We've got to play Wales. In the oh, you got, how many games you got to play? 
So, two. well, two. Wales are in the final, yeah. and we're in the semi-final. We're, we're supposed to play Ukraine, but obviously they're, they're kind of at war right now. Yeah, but That's why it's been postponed. I, I was confused, because I was thinking Ukrainian players are still playing, but apparently the lower league ones and the staffs have all enrolled in the military, so yeah. they literally can't. Yeah. And I, I, don't, I don't see them being ready by June. And as sad as it is, I think we will just get a bye, because time will be running out, and then we'll have, we'll have to play Wales in that window regardless. That, what, that, if, if that is the case, though, Wales-Scotland... Winner takes the World Cup. Oh, it all depends yeah. if Bill turns up or not. That is crazy. And then they get put in our group. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, that is, that is, that I'm, ce- I'm Celtic because most of my older generation family are Celtic supporters. Have you oh, just really? confirmed that you're a Celtic fan? Everybody knows that. I never knew that. Yeah, that's why I said like when you're getting all your Rangers gear out, I was like, oh. Really? Yeah, a lot of my family are Celtic fans. The only thing that upsets me with... Um, that's good then. Celtic have always they've got so, always so nice kits. Same with Rangers. Rangers have got the Rangers kits. store kits. So nice. Yeah, yeah the the one you brought in. Yeah, so that's actually quite good there. Oh, by the way, impartial. Bill of Real's not two now. Yeah, VAR. Oh yeah, VAR. Got VAR. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This Benzema or twenty thirteen Van Persie. Benzema. Don't You're, know. Mm. Van Persie was a joke. I'm just looking at it as just longevity. I can't really remember Benzema in 2013, but Van Persie was a joke. All you got to do is chip the ball over the top by Alex Song and Van Persie will volley <laughs> in. Well, was Van Persie ever close to Ballon d'Or no. contention? I mean, he was against Messi and Ronaldo. It doesn't really count, does it? Yeah. So. Look at this for a header, by the way. Into Modric. I Ooh. think the first one's better. I think the first one's better. Yeah, it is, but that is a disgusting. Think, I think that one's better. No, because the, the first one he has to put, the first one he's got to get some power on it to get it past Mendy. This one he's just got to guide it. But it's, 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 technically, that, this is a, diff- a more difficult header. That, ball, that yeah. delivery from Lucas. Oh, wait, that does actually, see from that bird's eye view, it did look really poor on Mendy there. You can really no, no, because he, he got him in mind, all his weight is on his right leg. So yeah. getting over is impossible. God, Kareem Benzema, eh? What a player he is. Meanwhile, it's 2-2 between Burnley and Everton. Burnley. It's a battle for the death, isn't it? Yeah, actually, that's a good question. You, you obviously watch more Scottish football than us, I'm guessing. Not, not really, to be fair. <laughs> oh. uh, well, well, we, wa- I only watch my own team in the odd Celtic game. How do you think, that's definitely more than us. How do you think Rangers and Celtic would fare in the Premier League? See, people, pe- people are so... Uh, they always go, oh, they're like a championship side, but like just look at who, how they play in Europe. Celtic are a well, shock that's in what Europe. I'm I, yeah, but they, but get, they, get, they do well in the Champions Rangers League. Rangers have been Celtic, and then every time Rangers or Celtic play an English club, like Rangers bet Real Madrid, I know it's only a friendly, but they bet Real Madrid last year. Yeah, I think they both do very well in the Premier League. I think Top it's off. Be- if they got the funding straight away as well, even better. Yeah, um, I fully agree with you on that one. See, and I don't know if it ever happened because you've got Cardiff and Swansea that were allowed well, exactly. to be in the Premier League. Yeah. Wales. It w- so would it bump up, you know, Celtic and Rangers? Yes, but would it fully kill off Scottish football? Yes. Oh, it would, wouldn't it? Because no offence to Welsh football. Mm-hmm. What is Welsh football? I can tell you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the, the two biggest clubs play in the English Premier League. Yeah. yeah. Well, well it's, it, yeah, I know what you mean. The, you know what I mean? the system, yeah. yeah. It would be, I think it would be pretty cool, though. The biggest problem I've always well, well, got... Well, Wales, Wales is a rugby nation, isn't it? It's not... Yeah, exactly. Like, they get, they, they get, they get by. It's the same with Scotland. Yeah, true, true, true. But like, as you were saying, though, like, if they got the funding that the clubs get in the Premier League... Barnes or Madison for FPL. Uh, Barnes probably a bit cemented in terms of minutes, um, but not as explosive, in my opinion. So it depends what kind of player you want. Well, you've had, you've had so many play. players that have came from Celtic and Rangers and tore up the Premier League. Well, tore Ke- it up Kieran Tierney. Ke- well, Virgo van Dijk. Yeah. Um, Victor Wanyama. Um, Stuart Armstrong. He didn't necessarily tear up the Premier League, but all decent players. Andy Robertson. Naismith came from Rangers, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He went back there, I think. He was, pretty, he was a baller. Stephen. Jay Adams. Yeah, John McGinn. Super <laughs> John, John McGinn. John McGinn, yeah. You can tell when a player's Scottish because they just chase the ball. That's all they, they just chase the ball. Literally, so they've got high, high work rates in real life. Mate. Okay, here's one ball. for us. Okay. You get up the Scottish Premier League table, mm-hmm. and we've got to name as many Sp- Scottish clubs as possible. Okay. Oh, from the from well, the you follow, you from the pre- Cinch Premiership. Well, do, do, do the Championship as well because there's some mm. there's some there's decent games in the Championship. Yeah. Okay. Like there's what's the sad thing? I'll tell you this. So I'm going to give you one club off the bat. The sad thing with Scottish football is there's teams with massive fan bases in the Championship and there's some in the Premiership that have got no fans like Livingston in the Premiership but 75% of their tickets go to away fans really? so it's just yeah you get these teams that have got really 
big fan base, isn't it? I won't tell you anymore, and I'll let you. Um, uh, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do the Premiership first of all. No looking, Reeve. Oh, sorry, I'm going to have to fail. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Okay. Right, right, so. Richarlison with 67. Let's, let's go Premiership. There's only 12 teams in the Premiership. Yeah. Okay, so. This is sick, by the way. I don't know if anybody started watching it, but okay. Moon Knight is absolutely unreal. Okay. Oh, I can't. So, to, to make it a bit competitive, right? You go, then you go, then you go, then you go. Okay, so you go Rangers. First. Celtic. Okay. Hearts. Mm-hmm. Motherwell. Yep. Inverness, Caledonian, Thistle. They're not in the Premiership. Don't well, you said any teams. Uh, I said we'll do the Premiership first. Uh, well, my, my you, know what, you know what? I'll give you Inverness. That was Scottish yeah, team. Thank you. Party, this one. Yep, they're in the Premiership as well. Yeah. Motherwell. In the Championship. Uh, Just said yep, that. You said Motherwell. Just said that. Oh, Queen of the South. Yep. Uh, Dundee. Mm hmm. Dunfermline. Yeah. Oh, Dundee United. <laughs> yeah, well, you've said Dunfermline as well. Aberdeen. Freddie Woodman used to play there. Mm-hmm. Shout out. Did I say Hearts? We've said Hearts, haven't we? I don't think we did. I don't think you did. No, we didn't. Hearts. Hibs. Yep. Hibernian, eh? Great stadium. I've been there a few times. Um, obviously, the next one is. <laughs> obviously. Uh, Dundee Athletic. <laughs> Stranra, yeah. FC. Stranra. Man- Hamilton. My nan lives there. Hamilton. Hamilton. Yeah. Your time. Yeah. Um, St Johnston. Mm-hmm. Um, They're Cow's team, aren't they? No, I think he's. I yeah, think no, he isn't. S- South- Cow's a St Johnston fan. Uh, That'll be his local, yeah. Yeah. Um, obviously, the other one is. Uh, I think you've, you, you're only missing... We've won away, I think. And I, I, missing, I've got it. Apart from Levinson that I mentioned, you're only missing one yeah, premiership. Mirren. Yeah, St. Mirren. St. Mirren. St. Mirren. I was about to say, it took my time. Oh, yeah, cool. Took my time. Of course it was. <laughs> you're missing one decent size... Partick Thistle. said that. You said Partick Thistle. You're missing one decent size team in the, the championship. St. Johnson. And I don't mean to family. No, St. johnson has been said. You're just saying all the ones that I said. And then yeah, well, you've got the easy ones. <laughs> I picked someone from Division Four. So, so, so from from the Championship, you've already said Queen of South Dunfermline, Hamilton, Party Festival, Inverness, and there's like maybe like five there missing, but I don't know if you know. Who are they? You've got Air. Yeah. You've got, yeah, uh, you've got Morton. You've got Kilmarnock. Kilmarnock. Oh, Kilmarnock! Of course, yeah. there's a big teams in the Championship, you know. That's what I'm saying. So it's, 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 it's the way they do Scottish football is stupid. Is where my um, like the relegation and promotion, like only the team in first goes up and the rest are like playoffs. Dumfries. Which is really? stu- it's stupid. Right. One team goes up, one team goes down, and like third and fourth for playoffs. I think Fucking it's so. Hell. See Buffon then. I would prefer Scotland to just make one twenty team league rather mm. than like because Celtic Rangers. I mean, as much as we like it, they play each other four times a season, like yeah, yeah. cup games as well. Old firms like yeah. Why would yeah? You should week. just merge the top two divisions. I, I I think that's like a fix to Scottish then, football. Still doesn't have VAR. That's how far behind they. Are. <laughs> yeah, I don't even afford it. Can't afford it, mate. Don't have nets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You just played at the Ibrox. You can't be slandering that, that league, oh, mate. You can't be slandering that league, mate. You can't be slandering that league, mate. People are too soft these days. Have a bit of a joke. The only one who got offended by that is you. You nearly cried from some Rangers kids. Oh, oh that's too far. <laughs> what was that? Were, that's too were far. you getting abused at Ibrox? <laughs> no, no, he thought he was getting, but he actually came out all right. Are you fine? <laughs> <laughs> What was the picture at Ibrox like? Yeah, it was really good, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I had a tough morning that night, that day. <laughs> that night? <laughs> He's all over the shop. Hey, what happened? Shop. Run us through. It just went on Twitter. Uh, it was self-inflicted, to be fair. Like, wait, but, you... wait, before the game you went on Twitter? Yeah. Oh, mate. Yeah. Is that why you missed the ball? But, but turns Tell you what, uh, Emery's doing an absolute number on Bayern I, Munich. I was, so, I was so nervous to release that video. And then the video went live, and I've never had such supportive and positive comments in my oh, life. Amazing. Everyone it's was so like half nice. A mil now, isn't it? Every, yeah, everyone was so nice. The Mental. comments are so nice. Like honestly, I, mean, I was like, oh, I had to pull. I had Anthony to... Gordon off. <laughs> uh, in more important Wait. news, Ziyech and Kovacic <laughs> are also coming on for Chelsea. I had to just uh, pull over once, and then I was just like uh, at services, and I just stayed in the car for a bit because I was getting really emotional by reading the comments. That's cute. Oh, that's yeah, cute. You deserve it, though, man. You do, you were sick. Who was, who, was, who was your nicest footballer that you just talked to that was quite nice? Because some of them are... David been... James, Jens Lehmann, Kaka. He's nice. Oh. Oh, Kaka took me under his wing a little bit. David James was obviously co- coaching one of the teams at Clash of Creators. And then obviously I was just used to playing at the wee seven side pitches. So I was like, oh, this pitch looks way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Wait, who was that last year's Clash? He was one of the coaches, yeah. yeah. 
Really? Yeah. And I, ne- I nearly went up to him and went, pitch is quite big, eh? And I went up to him, just thinking it was some random guy, and I was like, oh, shit, that's David James. <laughs> David James. Because he, he was like one of my inspirations as a goalkeeper. Kante yeah, off the cool. Ziyech. He's just cool. Mm. And Very nice guy. Who came on? Very who, nice. Who did Kovacic come on he for? He took Clash a bit serious. Who's then for? Again, Chelsea's for. <laughs> but then again... It's like Fog Dad. But then again... Yeah, he, yeah but it's Fog Dad. And he, Spencer. They're going he, back four then. If Ziyech is on, they've gone back Don't four. Don't like losing. Yeah, no, he was again. He was against Fogdan. To be fair, he probably just didn't want to lose to Fogdan because you never hear it. But I was fuming. You know, if if the, if the team we played, it was the red team, whatever, who didn't have Nash in goal, we would have won about ten nil. Oh, I didn't play today. I? I was injured. Mate, I'd have loved so to have played. All the teams we had: Pie Face, Robbie Knox, and Kieran Carlin. Then we had someone who was actually who must be a goalkeeper. Who did you play for? Yeah, I was Navy. I was Navy team. Oh, you're Dark Navy. Yeah. Oh, mate, I had the, I had the worst time. Chris class. MD, right? Mate, uh, yeah. Chris I had shit, yeah. I had the I had the shits and I had COVID. And then, uh, so you had COVID at the event. Anxious, anxious. But you didn't know you had COVID, obviously. No, no, I was testing every day beforehand, and then about five pm after class crashed, tested COVID. Yeah. And yeah. I was but like, everyone oh. was that whole event was just. It, it was, was great, but I felt I was, was having like really bad dear eyes. Uh, Jesus derives. Christ! Oh, oh! Ben- oh, oh! Benzema! Open goal! It's a Benzema! M- Mendy is probably the worst goalkeeper in the Premier League with the ball at his feet, mate. Ben is he's on a hat trick. Oh my word! Mate, Mendy is an wait, absolute wait. stonker there. That, that's back-to-back hat tricks in the, the Champions League. He's a Benzema. Yeah, it is. Mendy. What a howler, Mendy. Edward Mendy! You absolute seventieth Champions League goal. Has he overtaken anyone with that? Has that been done before? Back-to-back hat tricks in the Champions League? Probably. Probably not. Probably not. Can we get a fact check on that, guys? Back-to-back hat tricks. Oh my lord! Mate, I'm I'm really upset he didn't dribble and head it in for the, the head. Have a re- How has this happened? Let's so have a look at this. Who boots it? Casemiro boots it. Mendy has come easy, out. There. Easy, so if he's Mendy thinking his name is Manuel Neuer. He learns to oh. pass. Oh no! Why is Rudiger not just taking one for the team? That yeah. Why is he not just slay tackling? He just he's, he's not good with the ball. <laughs> well, well, if he, clearly third back to back. Third back to back. Oh, ever. Oh. I thought you were saying that was free hat. That's composed, you know, that is composed. Oh, Mendy's had an absolute stonker and a half. Rudiger and Mendy just slippy, isn't it? Mate, mate, why are you not slipping? You've got to smack him out. You've got to take him out. I don't care if it's a red card. Don't care if it's a red card, mate. That's a. Oh. You know what, Elliot? In other news. I should have done the. That other one I showed you. In other news, Matthew, Matthew Lattin's just come on and got I, a yellow. I did say, I did think 3-1 Madrid if it wasn't going to be a 1-1. Yeah, he did, know, to be fair. I know, I know it's really yeah, actually, he did. I don't know, were you there? I said, yeah, I did. Were you there? Was he what, there? Was he, what, what was he, 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 I don't know. You did say 3-1. I did, on I camera? I don't, th- yeah, I think, I don't know. I said beforehand, I want a 3-1, but I but think it's going to be a 1-1. Unfortunately, you can only take your first answer. I said two. <laughs> but, uh, um, I don't think there's, I, I don't think the scoreline ends here, though. I think there's more goals. Six especially one. with Chelsea going to my yeah no trick. seriously especially with Chelsea going to a back four you just saw how uncomposed they were there like Rudiger's not a back four centre back man 11 goals in 8 matches for Benzema Jesus Christ imagine how good he'd be if like Ronaldo wasn't there in terms of goal scoring because he basically had to just like feed the pony yeah, Wait, sit, yeah sit behind the scenes if I was a footballer I'd hate to play with Ronaldo I'm just saying that like, you know why? It's not just him. You get with Fernando, Fernandez as well. I hate... Oh, he's got his top off. Love that. Go on, lad. I, love f- I hate footballers just moan at their teammates all the time. I, I find it just super depressing. Talking about Frank Lampard, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that is true, you know. You have a good point. Like, I don't know if I would want Ronaldo on my team. Like, do, like, do well, you know, actually, I said, <laughs> you, you've seen him get annoyed when his teammates score, and I'm like, mate, come on, get a grip. I mean, yeah, but then also you can't... At the same time, like he is arguably one of the best footballers of all time. I tell you what, though, this is really good for FPL if Chelsea go out of the Champions League. I know that sounds a bit of a nerdy <laughs> thing to say, but He's mentioned FPL, Chelsea, everything. Chelsea have got really good fixtures for the rest of the year, and they've got a double Ooh. double game week. Oh, oh. oh but right, if they go out of the Champions League, then it is massive for FPL. Again, Mendy puts his foot through one. Should have done that before. You know what is really? I always feel like goalkeepers like the most like undeserving, but not undeserving. Uh, like it's like unrewarding, sorry, position mm. in football. Because if you play well, that's expected. But if see if you play have a howler, that's it. That's it. The a most, striker can have like ten howlers. The best a game. thing you can do as a goalkeeper, like the best goalkeepers, go unnoticed. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like... As P. Same, same with centre-back. Long back. distance. Oh, oh, oh my, my God, God! What a save! Courtois! What a save! 
The I, tortoise. Either that had bend or that was a deflection, I think. No, I think that was a swag. No, just going in his way. Mate, that it? save is absolutely insane. I, I think it was a little deflection. Let's see. Oh, fuck oh what is that? I BT. Think, I think that was a little deflection. Mate, why, would you, why would you show the eight. replay up to the point where he took the shot? I'm sorry, to but show that, the shot. That save is actually something else. That is actually, like, talk about world class keepers right there. That's when you need a keeper to be on form. Like, he's being quiet. He's not only doing that. Look oh. at this oh, save! Oh. He also did wow. shy Look at the, the shot wife. angle of the first hey, angle. Hey, that's filthy, man. You think that's gone in. You think, oh, my God, Aspie's just scored a weldy. But Tebow's come out uh, of not nowhere. If, not if you've got live score notifications on, you don't. But you use live score? I use, I use uh, flash scores. Ooh, each of their own. Yeah. Jordan Pickford giving instructions with his tiny arms. <laughs> I've never noticed the tiny arms before. Bro, he's so, oh, it's so funny. That's what they they give him special England kits, mate. They cut the sleeves down. Uh, are you taking a piss? <laughs> no. Well, yeah. Those are short sleeves. I mean, yeah, he's just got a normal shirt, hasn't he? But tiny. The arms. reason why I don't buy soft mints is because I'm addicted to them. <laughs> yeah, they are. Really. Like a and I'll go through them so quickly. Is that, fo and is I that got football in opinion? And I got told apparently they, they somewhat act as laxatives as well. Really? Apparently, I don't know. Can you believe? I used to go through packet. Can you believe packet. that this pretty much confirms that Real Madrid are as good as Brentford? Well, that's no, what I'm saying. Technically, Brentford. Well, technically, Brentford. At this point, one yeah. I did say this at the start of the show. If Real Madrid, if Chelsea can't even beat Brentford, oh. how the hell are they supposed to beat Real Madrid? Yeah, that's what we said. No, that's what I said. No, no, I actually said that. No, you I, can no, go back. And I, have said look. That. No, I said that. No, I said that. <laughs> Do you just like playing in the rain at football? In the rain, love it. Yeah, I like it when it's light. But because see, yeah, not, I'm, not, I'm not good at dribbling, so it makes it harder for me. <laughs> it makes the difference go <clears> all over the place. Yes. Right? Red cost off, boys. The FPL points in there, fuck's sake. Do you have Weghorst? I do. That's awkward. Two goals for Burnley and he wasn't involved. Who would have thought? Jay Rodriguez. <laughs> I've had Weghorst. I've got a, a question for both of you. He hopped on your boss, did he? Started an eviction I've got an uh, interesting little debate question. The chat can answer as well. Who do you think is... Well, we'll go overrated first. Who's the most overrated and who's the most underrated player in the Premier League? Overrated, I'd simply say Jack Grealish. I'll put my hands up. Overrated? No, no he's not overrated. He, you have to remember, he carried... 100, mil he carried, 100 million, brother. That's not his fault. He carried Aston Villa. Are you talking about in terms of price he's, tag he's or been put, he's been public put, opinion? He's been I wouldn't put, say price tag because, like... Because Harry, Harry Maguire, Maguire was never rated. It's just yeah. he was overpaid. He wasn't overrated. He was overpaid. Okay. You've got to remember, Greedis carried Aston Villa for years. He did do and that. And then went into a squad full of £100 million players. It was just when I seen people being like, oh, man, City get Greedis just over. And I was just like, is it? I mean, it adds to their eliteness. Yeah. Uh, who's the most overrated player in the Premier League? Edward Mendy. You think? Yeah. I think, nah, I'd, I'd say he's very nah. good. I think he's good. Like in the Liverpool Chelsea, he kept them in it, the final. Mm. I know yeah, he didn't he's, he's a good, he's a good shot Taylor. stopper, but he's got enough well, no, he wasn't in the fucking shoot, <clears throat> was he? Watch him play football. Like Mendy. Watch him Champions League, mate. Yeah, to be fair, there was a stat at one point that said he played three matches in a row and he won three bits of silverware. It was Afco. And, he, and you said he's overrated? Watch him play football, mate. No, I, no, he's overrated. But that's the point, isn't it? People respond going, oh, look at him. Like, he just won loads of trophies. You know? I think they overvalue how good he is. Uh, I'll tell you who is overrated. Who? Yeah. Okay. Tiago. Tiago Alcantara. Tiago Alcantara. You, have you, have you, you, you haven't seen? watched Liverpool this year. If you're saying that, then I can confirm You've just said, mate, Mendy, who won Champions League... Yeah, and, watch and others. Watch Thiago play. I don't know if you, I don't know if you've seen Thiago's last two games. Yeah, yeah, incredible. This like, guy, incredible. Thiago, Liverpool's win record with Thiago versus without Thiago is actually mental as well. It's like it a sixty percent difference. Yeah, he's incredible. What I do find interesting about Liverpool is, well, not in Liverpool, but Klopp. He always takes a while before he like Fabinho didn't get a game for Liverpool for like six, seven months properly. Yeah, that shows you how good Luis Diaz is because he came straight in. Mm -hmm. I, and Luis Diaz, I love him because he's opposite of what I was saying about Ronaldo. Just chases the ball, doesn't. He's just like, just like, do you know when someone's just like happy to play football? I love yeah. that. Here is Vinicius. Oh, into Benz, back to Furland. I forgot about the first name. What a ball Ooh. that is. Underrated. 
John McGinn. Saka, Smith Rowe, Erdogan. Nah, they're rated, though, they're aren't rated. they? They're rated. They're rated. They're rated. Right. Underrated. Like Benzema. Saka's supposed to be the next big thing, ben, isn't he? So. I feel like Benzema's only getting his recognition this season. I think I don't Do think Benzema's I mean? underrated like now, but I mean as a whole of the he last also decade. He also doesn't play in the Premier League, so I don't think it counts for I the argument. I think criminally underrated the last decade. That's what he said. <laughs> Who is? I say I think Benzema's underrated in terms of the last decade. Olivier like Giroud. Just, oh, underrated. One of the best strikers of all time. He's one of the best strikers. Set back. He's one of the best strikers of the last decade. Hashtag uh, facts. Actually, you know, Joel Matip. I, I, I was going to say Joel, Ma- Joel Matip easily. Probably the most. You know what FIFA does? FIFA ruins I, yeah. I, people's mate, opinions. I said this on a podcast. Everyone fucking rinse me. FIFA so ruins glad people's you... opinions. They do. Oh my god! I'm glad someone has a brain round here. Honestly, everyone yeah, else me. said I was an idiot for saying that, and you back no. me. Did you say I'm waffling? No, I said it on pitch side. I don't think you did. Yes, I did. I got fucking ridiculed. FIFA just ruins. I said it does. Opinions FIFA of ruins players and ruins people's opinions on players. Can, can we find that? It's only impossible to find, but I'm telling you it's true. What's that? Like, that's why people don't. You know, I, I He's quoting like, himself at this point. I'm a no, Liverpool true. fan. No, I've, I know. I agree with you, but I, I've like, watched every Liverpool game for the last four or five years, and there's never been a game where I've been Joe Matic played bad. Yeah. Never. Just consistently just unreal. he's just injury prone I mean, he's got the highest dribble rate I don't know if it's in Liverpool or the Premier League it's one of them but he's got the highest dribble rate which is like inc- it's like 82% or yeah. something like oh, that what really you, you've seen Joel Mathit dribbling yeah. he loves a dribble loves it I just saw something interesting on the sideboards just then what was an ad yeah it was what an ad pe- was, it? was it the peaceful Ukraine one no no it was it, oh, just eat I'll see it when it comes on in a second which game the Champo game okay oh. <laughs> yeah. the all important Burnley Everton game Oh, I forgot that was going on. Eccles. <laughs> El Verde, eh? Who was the next change for Real Madrid then? If you're free oh. enough, if you're free enough against Chelsea, where do you go from here? Oh dear. Something's happened. Something big. Yeah. What's all your opinions on Harry Maguire? Have you had it come through as well? Hang on. Oh, what is it? Is a goal? Oh God! Stop. Oh, no. What's happened? Oh, Burnley yes! three two. Frank Lampard getting the sack. Is that, is that Corne? Corne? Maxwell Corne. Corne. Have like you still him? No. Like it, I'm go. I bet loads of people have Corne, don't they? Yeah, I bet they do. For the double. Camavinga on is the next um, thing. Says to be fair, they, they do deserve that. Heineken and Silva that lose, is, a, game, on the side lose a game to two penalties. Would that be makes the rest of the season very interesting. Did you see that Heineken Silva? Ad? That looks cool, doesn't it? Oh, is that what it was? Is that yeah. what you're referencing? <laughs> that did well, didn't it? I'm going to grab a wee another huh? oh, drinky poo. Oh, that's a bit stinky. But thanks for that. What do you mean? No! Nah! <laughs> <laughs> Who well. was your favourite player growing up? Well, I had three. I oh. had Thierry Henry, I had Ronaldinho, and I had my man, like my best friend, Good finish. Kaka. Kaka. Vidra. That would have been very coarse on the assist, though. No, it wouldn't. It would have been outside the box waiting for someone to cut it back. <laughs> Even further. Yeah, we've always asked that. Like, what players were watching? Yeah, growing up, who were, you, who were your idols? Ronaldinho, from... Gerard Torres. <coughs> nice. No, 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 like... Scottish players. No. Scott, Scott Brown? <laughs> no. Scott Brown? Scott Brown. Scott Brown's from the same town as me. Is he? Is he? Well, there you go. See, I knew that. Home, hometown hero. You know, he... Uh, uh, his little brother used to always go in parties telling everyone, oh, I'm Scott's brother's brother, which is a bit weird. But. <laughs> um, and who, who are your three favourites? Uh, Henri. Darren Bent. What? Huh? <laughs> you know who I loved, weirdly? Uh, I forget his first name. Morton Gams Pedersen. Oh, I loved oh, him. Oh, I lo- yeah, it's because he's left footed. With two him. guy. I loved him. Tunchai. Tunchai. Yeah. No, but there's also two guys. He was like a really niche player that I just loved. Patty V. Patrick, Who? Be- Patrick Vieira. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Why? Because he beat us. <laughs> oh, it's Kai. It's Kai. Patrick Vieira and... He just sent Edin Militar on the way. Back to money. No, it's not. It's Christian. Christian. <laughs> I don't know. Never really had top three. Gilberto just, Silva? Just, just Henri, mostly. Filmed with Henri before. We have. Ooh, blimey. Ooh, blimey. You know that all blimey clip? Do you remember that? Oh, blimey. What, what's Henri that? going, ooh, blimey. Oh yeah, saw it live. In more, more, re- more recently though, ga- probably got ga- like Gareth Bale before he went to. Oh, Madrid. I thought he was so cool. Tottenham player. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Well, m- when he was at Southampton, mostly. But... 
Oh, you supported him when he was at Southampton. Did ya? You chat so much shit. He was my profile picture on Facebook in 2010. Oh, grow up. <laughs> Honestly, grow up. It was so interesting oh. seeing... Um, what, what do you mean? Gr- you're so indie, don't you? <laughs> I've got the receipts. <laughs> oh, look at me. I supported Gareth Bale before we went to Spurs. I did. I did love seeing him slowly move up the pitch. Like yeah. When he, he just started scoring. His, who was it? Was it against Blackburn, that volley? The vo- what, I can't remember Blackburn. The volley, they just swerved into the back post. Speaking that of Thierry Henry, he's laughing there, at he's... Chelsea losing 3-1. Conte's there, look. So who was his mate next to him? Why is Henry at the game, by the way? Probably just fans Why is Conte the there? Ex-Chelsea manager. Yeah, but... Why is Henry there? Probably just hoping that Chelsea lost. I don't know. <laughs> just to laugh at them. I mean, when you're a tad... Oh, boy, shit. Like to go to the game oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, the, oh, not Loftus-Cheek. The world's best goal scorer scored again. Romelu's coming. What, Mitrovic scored, did yeah, he? Yeah, one nil Fulham. Where can I get a water from? You want water? Oh no, we'll get a fresh one. All right, Jesus. Sorry. Well, you know, you know, you know what it is like at these days. Okay, mate. That, that espresso shot's really gone to my head. <laughs> Hope it calms down before I go to bed. Why have you two not mentioned Burkamp? I know, like, look, I loved him. I really did. He, he, but I, I, everyone needs to have that. Like, even though he's a fantastic player, you've just got to have that, like, cool star or, quality. The, the order about yeah. you. I remember my first Arsenal football match I went to. It was in 05. It was Arsenal versus Charlton. We beat him 3 0. Um, Henri scored Perez scored and I think Burkamp scored uh, Perez scored mm-hmm. a penalty it was in our maroon kit do you remember I that very even, nice uh, kit like, I know you sound in the best Arsenal but I don't, I don't even sorry like, what have you just said you heard me he's but a I Liverpool fan I don't, fan. I don't, yeah. no, we're not doing wait on a minute no, no, no. Hang, no let's just rewind a second we, we both know what you've been going through for like the last four or five years and now look at us and I, flying I, I don't I don't like like going haha because you are exactly what Liverpool were like under Rodgers yeah. so I, I kind of being like oh, I remember that we're just ahead of United in the in the spectrum of coming back yeah, that's not exactly hard is it <laughs> well, you know we both went through well they've just signed Ten Hag haven't they they have yeah bloody hell Fulham Mendy absolutely ruining the Chelsea defence who are currently playing a 5-5-0 five, five, formation his, that's his foot birthday version with the 5 stars. <laughs> is it, <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. not his future oh. stars well, I don't think that's the five. Oh, look, FIFA just it? isn't fun anymore. I had to get rid of my PS5 because well, the only game I played on it was FIFA, and then I would be spending money on it. So not I tell you what, yeah. people that have done the Valve Egos SPC must be fucking loving life. Three, two. Oh, oh no. I didn't do it. And I'd do you know, I told you the story I did. Days. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying generally, Twitter's yeah. probably popping off. I didn't it? get it in time. <sighs> What rank are you lads on FPL? Uh, Theo's 105th in the world, and I'm like... You're 105th in the world? 60 No, you are In the world? Yeah, I'm going to show you. <laughs> in the world? <laughs> yeah. No one? Nah, you're taking the... In the fucking world. 147th. 147th? Oh, sorry, you got... Thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, Chris is only 50 behind me now. Someone said, do you think Rangers can win the Europa League? Uh, no, yeah. I think it's. Barcelona. I think they can get to the final. I think they Barcelona. can win. I would love to see a Rangers Barca final. That would be, be epic, help. wouldn't it? Would Seeing Everton's fixtures for the rest of the season. Everton have United, Leicester, Liverpool, Chelsea, Leicester. <laughs> Surely Frank's looking at it going, ah, oh, shit. Even if Liverpool do beat Man City this weekend, they've got they've got a harder run of games. You know what? I'm not even. Like, we always joke about Everton are going to stay up. Who do I think get fourth spot in the Prem? I think Arsenal finish third, Spurs finish fourth. That's all right. You know. If the result stays like this, Burnley are one point behind Everton. What do you mean? Yeah. And Everton's... And they've got games in hand. Everton's running. Haven't they? No. Oh. Everton's running. Yeah, Burnley's is pretty okay. It's not too bad. Everton fucked. Yeah. Oh my God, Everton are going down. That's going to be a dark day for football. If Everton go down. <gasps> oh no, who is that? Salomon so Ed- Rondon. If everything stays as this first leg, it'll be a Real Madrid's... Man City semi final. Oh, obviously, I would play for the second leg. But... I hope man, I hope Rom did do it. Romelu, big Rom. All right, this is it. Val Romelu, Val Lukaku. <laughs> Fuck off. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's past my bedtime, man. I can't believe we're gonna see a Real Madrid versus Villarreal final. No, no, Villarreal is against Liverpool. Oh, final. You think Villarreal will beat Liverpool? Yeah. Okay. 100%. I remember Arsenal versus Villarreal in the semi final of the 05 Champions League. Perez played for Villarreal. No, he didn't, sorry. He went to Villarreal after uh, he got subbed off for 
uh, Jens Lehmann getting the red card. What are you laughing at? Oh, oh you I enjoyed your, your little... <laughs> What what just happened there? Oh, Danny Carver, how poor Mason. No, no, money. Money, what did you do? Did you punch him? Not like I, this. I have no idea, but he just... Sl- just, he said stop. Oh, come on. Come oh, that, on. Oh, Danny Carver, how? I'm sorry. Jesus. That's yeah. straight red. No, Carver, how should be sent off for that? It's embarrassing. I, 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 would, oh, I don't know why they don't book players for diving a bit more. Was, any- he's holding down like he's been shot. I just want a free kick. See, and that's why I couldn't be a professional football. I mean, I wouldn't be a professional <laughs> that's footballer. The only reason. Yeah, that's the only reason because you know, just, I, I'm, I'm a bit like a donkey, mate. The amount of people I would just bump into without you mean to. Just... Oh, I can't believe I want sixty quid tonight, lad. Honestly, I'll take that one to the fucking grave. Are you going to put sixty quid on? Oh yeah, you Lukaku put ten on it, didn't you? Lukaku hat I could, I could have put the whole winning on Real Madrid to win. I would have won a hundred, but I didn't. We might not come in. I, I, it most likely will come in, but there's also always a chance that Chelsea get two goals. Hmm. You, know, do you know, still put it on. Put it on now. No. Do it, mate. Why not? No. Culture. Because it's free one. No, I don't do that. <laughs> Back yourself, bro. No, stop it. What's wrong with you? We're actually feeling like it's going to be four one. Right and you're going to get cash out for more money here. Look. Shh, shut up. What's wrong with you? Elliot just nodded. Stop. <laughs> God. He says no. Says no. But Bresky Berber, just put the money up. <laughs> Oh my, oh my god. god. Full time. Yep. Full time. Everton. What score? Frankie Lamps. The Everton amount, 2. Burnley 3. The amount of memes we're going to see tonight. See, see, Do you know what? Did anyone see five goals in that game happening? I didn't. No, no. I will one ask is. you this no one, one, lads. If Lampard gets Everton relegated, does he get a job in football ever again? That's what I was saying. I was saying, yeah, easy. If, 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 who would want him? I don't think whoever wants to go down. I next. think I think he'd have to purely stay with Evan. Like if they, want, if they wanted him, still. he has to firm it. Like he's he he just to... got one of the biggest clubs in England. No, no, no. Give him, give him like the Man City job when Pep leaves. <laughs> just needs a better squad, man. He's stuck there with bloody Rondon. <laughs> <laughs> oh look at Frank! Oh he's fuming. He's living. Do you reckon he goes home and goes? Ah, another one list. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I reckon. He probably, I reckon he goes over and he doesn't care. Oh, my lose. I don't reckon he cares, man. I honestly don't reckon he cares. I reckon he does go over and goes, oh, my lose. Harry G film, the man with zero knowledge goes, Mason Mount is so washed. You're honestly deluded, man. Ever since you got a girlfriend, you've been so deluded. You got one? Yeah. Oh, he's been asked it. Didn't know he had one. Yeah, he does. He's going to go so annoyed when I said that. Anyways, good result for Burnley, though. One point behind Everton now. It's a huge result. Oh, oh! Might get oh. Bruno in this. Tell you weekend. what, Romelu is causing all kinds of troubles right now. Oh, Frank is fuming. Dominic Calvert Lewin is going to get relegated. Absolutely. Do, do, like, imagine they just sell, he goes. If Everton get relegated, who do they sell? Huh? Calvert Lewin, Richarlison. Who else? Pickford. Frank. <laughs> Frank Lampard. Who actually goes? Who else do they sell? So Pickford, Calvert Lewin, Richarlison. Who else? Um, Leighton Baines. No but do you know what I mean though who actually goes I reckon Leighton Baines goes 50 mil where is he Leighton Baines is he retired he's filming Hobbit 5 <laughs> that's, that's so mean Holgate no, just because he's he, got the hair Holgate go is he good enough talk to myself then lads I, I just don't Holgate know. Holgate um, Godfrey I reckon Holgate gets a job at um, Farm Foods afterwards Oh, oh you fucking donkey! Lukaku's just missed a sitter. Oh, I tell you what, Lukaku. I, I would say a sitter is what, such, but I tell you what, Benzema scores that. He does, yeah, he does. He does yeah. score that. He does score that. I tell you who scores that. Val Beckham. <laughs> he very, well scores that as well. Very close still. Why has he been? What, why has he been brought on if he can't bury that? John McGinn scores. I'm that. not being funny. For Lukaku into Milan, he scores that. He does score that. Oh, mate, he's had a stinker there. Oh, that is rough. <laughs> Frank Lampfart. <laughs> <laughs> Frank Lampfart. They're all coming through in the group chat. I've got a, a really... Frank, <laughs> Frank Lampu. I've got a very <laughs> trivial and very serious question for you. Go on, then. Oh. Who's the best looking player in the Premier League? i got to go Virgil van Dijk. Not only is he a handsome man, six foot four, and he's just cool, isn't he? Well, you just want a you want a tall guy. No, no. T- I, I just think when it comes to like every category, he ticks in. Mm. Um, Declan Rice. Oh, 
my God! Oh, you bastard! Was that Money Mace who said he's washed? He didn't score, Man. but it was close. He, he's also he's also a good looking lad, but yeah, Mace, yeah, he's, he's a good looking. Um, you right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ben Chilwell. Ben, oh, that's a good <laughs> shout. You know, Jackie G. Jackie G. He's about to sign Jackie a seven G. figure. Yeah, he's signing for Gucci, mate. You can't be he's a, signing for Gucci. Can't be yeah. yeah, you can't be clapped it, if you're signing for Francis bloody Gucci Gucci. He's actually really wholesome in interviews. I've seen him. Yeah, uh, he is. Have you ever seen him in interviews like? Oh, you want oh, it? Little, little Phil. But have you seen the, the interviews where they're like, oh, the people are saying that you're an like encyclopedia of football, and Jack Grealish is like, oh, what? What's that? What's that? <laughs> what's that? <laughs> what's the, was it one of the England guys? He played very well. Yeah, did, didn't know. It's like uh, Lions Den, wasn't it, or something like that? Oh, and ball! And why are they shooting from there, man? Who do they think they are? I mean, they've got. Oh, they're all lining point. up. All oh, the like Chelsea. Hell. Chelsea are throwing a kitchen sink at the moment. Ben White. If they can't win this leg, by the way, they are done. Now nah, Ben White's fashion sense is. Uh, the Bernabeu is, is a difficult ground. Bernabeu. Who? The Bernabeu. <laughs> Ben. Jamie, who, who, shush. Jamie, who is this guy in the chat who like fancies you? Who is he? Oh, that's awkward. I can't get over Frank Lompu. I tell you what. Put Gilbert on corners. I tell you what. Here we go. It's how's Kai. You, how's your, it's Kai. It's Kai. How's your vertical jump, Jamie? It's a corner. Middle. Right. Can Chelsea get back? Who in, in the Scotland national team would get in England starting eleven? Robertson. Well, definitely Robertson. Although John McGinn. Uh, yeah, maybe actually. H- Hibbert, uh, Lyndon Dykes. <laughs> no chance. He's not even getting to Scotland. <laughs> no, I know. He's like Chad Adams. Uh, realis- maybe, maybe he's realistically in born in Leystone. Left back wise, Tierney would maybe if Robertson wasn't. Yeah. Existing. So do you play Tierney centre back? <laughs> yeah. Tierney. Okay. We play. Did t- you just play your best player t- t- in that t- position? We play Tierney and McTominay centre back. <laughs> Uh, Kai Havertz has just scored two more goals according to Re- oh no might score two more goals but John McGinn is Scotland's best player like when he's on Virgin played, Media John always the best player really yeah 100% look at Thiago Silva there that's great attacking he, know, he knows after he it, like but he's, he, he's, 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 his head's not in the game because he knows as soon as he loses to Remedy he has to go record a cameo <laughs> <laughs> he goes hello Phil we've lost if, uh, thank you for thank you for the 450 pound feel bigger I give you I maybe give since you... Chelsea's assets have been frozen you can't do cameos anymore you can't make any money well if, if Mendy not, again I'm telling not, you honestly this Chelsea team reek at the moment poor money mate he deserves better come to Arsenal lad well the reason why I didn't think they do well tonight there's just so much going on with Chelsea at the moment it's probably just so hard to just concentrate on playing yeah. not only losing the cup final but then who do I support in F1 uh, Yuki Tsunoda baby let's go See, that's Japan's it. finest. I've never understood F1, I can't lie. I don't really? Sound, I don't, don't want to sound like... Uh, it's just cars going around no, the circuit as fast I don't, as possible. I don't want to sound like one of the... And whoever comes first wins. I don't want to be like, oh, I don't understand it. Do you like, watch oh. Drive to Survive? That will get you into it. Sorry? Do you watch Drive to Survive? Why don't you just watch oh. the actual thing? See, no, but the best way... The, 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 if you want to introduce someone to F1, tell them to watch Drive to Survive. I, I, know yeah. the, I know the cars are very fast, but I feel, I feel like F1 in general is just quite slow-paced. and it, My brain's just not stimulated. Who's been the biggest flop out of Sancho and Rashford this season? What? The well, biggest drop ever. Well, Sancho's been quality. Rashford's not really a flop, is he? I mean, he's already an established player at the club. But I was thinking, right, see if Rashford can't play to like Man United's level, because to be fair, no one's really playing at Man United's level in terms of how they should be playing. Who they have got Everton next year. So where would Rashford go if he wasn't at Man United? What? he go Arsenal. You think? I want to see a lot more uh, English players going abroad. I, I'd love it, but you know, I think just English players can't be Arsenal in another Well, language. um... Well, after the Euros, they all went to like um, don't even Mykonos, bother. didn't they? Don't even bother. And Abifa. Not that weird, no. Um, um, because if you look at Jude, Theo, who do you support? Arsenal. Sorry. Uh, and Rangers. Um, if you look, Rangers. Who's better, Foden or Mount? Phil Foden. No debate. What was that? Who's better, Foden or Mount? Ah, oh, Foden. But I only say about going abroad because if you look at Bellingham, Phil Foden will win a Abraham, Ballon d'Or. The yeah. boys going abroad are smashing it, aren't Why they? Why are you shaking your head? Do I think Spurs get up top four? No, unfortunately not. Actually, maybe if they, at the expense of Chelsea. Camavinga's just come on for Real Madrid. Fifteen minutes. He's to a go. baller, you know. Yeah. He tried his foot fancy card. I've got his one to watch which is still 78 rated. <laughs> yeah, that's never been upgraded but he's been he's been given eight special items other than that. Yeah. 
Who currently would you say playing is a generational talent? What on the, the team's <laughs> playing right now? Just in life. I feel Foden. Is he the only one? What? Jude Bellingham? Jude Bellingham, yes, yeah. good one. John McGinn. <laughs> Oh, hang on, yeah, for for Scotland. hang on a second, we've got a bit of beef going on between Ziyech and Vinicius. They're not happy. They're wearing it's the same way, boots. See that Ajax team when Ziyech and Delic were still playing the young? That was like my favourite. I, I love that team. Yeah, it was filthy, filthy, filthy. But that's what they do. They just oh, create players and sell Carver Howe, he's put his hand up and said, lads, I'm injured. Again. <laughs> oh, what are you oh, doing? He's, oh, he's, oh, really, he's really injured. Oh. oh, poor guy. No, Danny. Pedri or Foden? Oh, that's Tampa. hard, you know. That's hard. Maybe Pedri. Oh, Danny, he's going to have to go off if he's this hurt. I don't know. If he's really this hurt, he's going to have to go off, and he like he's just been shot. Bless him. Pedri won Golden Boy. Didn't Is he? he all right? Oh no, he's oh no, poor Danny Carver. How? Feels just doing another. Oh, day. that does look bad, doesn't it? David Jesus. Oh, I feel for him. Oh, the poor lad. He's an elite athlete. And he's gone down like a load of fucking potatoes. That know. is embarrassing. Yes, I don't, they, I don't know how they can do that. Being like, I know I'm on TV right now, and I'm going to roll about. Just it's fine. Oh, 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 he's milking it. First he held his ribs, now he's holding his leg. Is, which, one's, which one's hurting, lad? Gunther Steiner is class on drugs. He's the best person in F1, mate. He needs his own show. Gunther Diaries. Do you think there's going to be any goals in the last... Um, yep. Benzema. That's a 25-minute hat-trick, by the way. <gasps> he's elite. He's so, so good. He's so, so tight. Well, no, because you've got, he, the, you got the 15 player. minutes in between the halves, yeah. though, so it's, it's like 40. Ah, playing time. What are you saying? So he's another. He's another player that because of FIFA, people don't rate because they're like, oh, he's not flashed. Oh, I, I, I actually said no. I said this the other day. I said, imagine Benzema was blessed with pace. Everyone would be like, oh my god, he's the best of all time. Like people, I remember someone. No, was, who was I talking about? No, Bivy said that. I don't think you said it. No, I said it. <laughs> you just nubbing. I said people that aren't blessed with pace, they just think because they're not good on FIFA that they're not good in real life. No, because we were having a discussion about Mbappe. If he didn't have pace, he wouldn't be half the player he is, wouldn't we? I think that was something like that. Mbappe's finishing ability is goated. Mo Salah and Mane both said that Van Dijk is the fastest in the team, like no doubt, which is really over. Yeah, over a longer distance, they said yeah. that, didn't they? Because the initial sprint, I reckon, Van Dijk looks like he's jogging all the time. Can you imagine like playing a football match and then your defender who's marking is Virgil Van Dijk? Well, or Rudiger in terms of speed. Yeah, Rudiger's like the pace. fastest pl- clocked speed in the Premier League this year. Oh, is yeah, it? higher yeah. than Adama Traore and Salah. Yeah, but like, how do you? How would you possibly play against Van Dijk? You just get bullied. Would I would I, get bullied. Would I rather have Pedri or Foden at Arsenal? I think Pedri would fit the team a bit better. But yeah, I don't know. You know, we, we've basically we've got it's just enough, taking both. We've got enough left wingers, haven't we? Really, just like taking both. Just have them both. <laughs> yeah, get them both. Shall we? Well, Phil Foden will stay at Man City for his entire career, I reckon. And then he'll win like 58 trophies <laughs> and beat Danny Alves. It's actually so true. How many is he on now? Including the Young Lions World Cup? Probably like 10, 15. He's got to be on Yeah, we few. forget they won the under 17s World Cup, didn't they? Freddie Woodman did. What a baller. Oh. Do you remember the controversy about that? That mm. they celebrated the win- they, when they lifted the trophy, they all had their names on the front so people would know their names. And everyone's like, you care more about yourself than you do about the country. Was Smith Rowe in that team as well? Probably. I think so, wasn't he? Because Foden and Smith Rowe came up together, didn't they? I'm pretty sure. Did they? Smith Rowe's an interesting fella. See, when I look at he looks like he just doesn't look that real. I think because <laughs> he's young and he's he just. No, like, like a I, Lego character. I mean, it's in the next way possible. He looks like a, a Lazy Town character. <laughs> No, 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 see, like when I see pictures of him, like he, he, looks, he look, looks like a Barbie and Ken doll. I'm just like I can't. I know, I, I, yeah, he's Stephanie's Ken. little brother. And I, I don't mean that in a nasty way. I just mean he just he just looks. A, I, don't, I don't know. Oh yeah, that's an interesting say. point, lads. Robbie Rotten passed away, didn't he? Do you remember? He, yeah, it was years ago. That's really sad, actually. You seen? Uh, Sorry to put a down on it. Yeah, no, just, I don't, try, I, just uh, laughing, and you're like, did you know he died? Robbie Rotten. Oh, it's Kai Havertz. Straight at call four. <laughs> what were you going to say? Oh, it's Robbie Rotten. Um, they're looking at me. They're trying to make <laughs> World Cup games a hundred minutes rather than. 90. Yeah, that is fucking crazy. Oh, you're taking the piss, aren't you? A hundred minutes. And you must be fuming because your Legends match was only eighty. Oh, <laughs> they're now minutes. making it a hundred minutes. Sure. Uh, you missed minute, out on twenty minutes. minutes. Nine. Nine. Was it only nine? Yeah. Oh, can't is, is it a fun day out? Yeah, I do. I will say though, I'm adamant. If I've got more minutes, I would have scored. Would you? I think so. Cackle's looking to play me in every time. Was that the most nervous? Were you nervous? I wasn't nervous about playing. I was nervous about getting booed. Did you get booed? No. Only a couple of boos, and then they got drowned out by cheers. Ah, that's nice. So the nervous subsided. 
But when it's weird when you're on the pitch, you just don't really realise there's a crowd. Oh, really? You're just playing a game I feel of like footy. Just playing a Sunday league match. Kulisevsky's better than Saka. Nah, that's to question. be fair, that was like me at Clash. I was just worrying about not shitting myself. <laughs> uh, so Fog Dad, yeah, Fog Dad was the manager, and he went to me. He went, he went Lewis, you look a bit. He was like a ginger. I was like. Kind of. He didn't want to do like the, the old Gary Lineker. Yeah, I was like, I feel like I'm going to pull myself. And someone was like, wow, there's 20,000 people watching. I went, I don't want to hear that. I was like, I don't want to hear I'm that right yourself. now. <laughs> I need a pee. <laughs> yeah, imagine Barca win the Europa League and Real Madrid win the Champions League. Spain on top. I don't... And do you really think Madrid are going to win Champions League? Yeah, Is that just because you've got the jacket on? The jacket's here to stay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I think if you put Saka in the Spurs side at the moment, he probably gets more goal contributions than Kulusevski. Don't get me wrong, is oh, very Oh, money, good. Mace! Money, that's a pen! Go down! See if he went down there, that was a pen. Yeah, if he goes down, it's a pen. He's just too truthful and honest to go down. It's t- too nice of a lad. <laughs> I think I think Barcelona will win the Europa League, in one honesty. Rangers, mate. Rangers got them. Morelos going to score seven past him. And I think, I think Leicester will win the conference. I would love to go to a Rangers Barca final. That'd be epic. Oh, that'd be crazy. Can they meet in the final? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You didn't know that. Rangers are quite lucky. They've they got, can meet. West Ham can meet Barca. Rangers got a good run to the final. They've, they've got a good draw, but at the end of the yeah. day, still, happens still happens Kuli's being slept on. No, no. I think he's really good. I think I think the reason why Spurs are doing so well at the moment is because Kulusevski offers another um, dynamic to allow Harry Kane to drop deep and Ooh. be more of a creator. Also, we're sort of overlooking West Ham. In Europa for- League. Oh, no, that's what you yeah. said. Yeah. yeah. West Ham, if. Uh, yeah, I think Ooh. it could be a Oh, my God. Here he is. No. Gareth Bloody Bale is coming on for Real Madrid. I would never seen anything like this before the in best, my life. I thought I'd never the, seen it. Either. The best British player of all time. Full stop. Of all time? Yeah, who's better? Steven Gerrard. <laughs> Would you Bale, think Bale's, you Bale's won everything, mate. Would you say he's the, the best? I know, I know this is. <laughs> oh, Gerard has. I know you probably think it's an obvious question, but do you think he's the best Welsh player of all time, considering like Ian Won Rush? Kicks as well. Ian Rush. Also, Bale ain't won the Prem, mate. Won well, the Prem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Won the Prem doesn't mean anything. What about David Beckham? He's not Welsh. He won the Prem. <laughs> he won La Liga. Do you know what I mean? It's a good shout, isn't it, Best David? British player of all time is John McGinn. I'm Wayne fan. Rooney. Wayne Rooney's yeah, potentially a good shout. Oh, we could, we should do that as a debate on pitch side. Best British player of all time. Yeah. Write that one down, Jamie. I'm forgetting George Best as well. Yeah, but how his long well, George, George Best isn't British, is he? Oh, he's Northern Ireland, isn't he? Oh, a controversial topic there, mate. Well, it's still not British. Northern Irish is British. It's not British. Britain is no, it's Wales, Ian, Scotland, no, and England. No, it's United Kingdom. Sorry? No, it's United Kingdom. Great Britain. Oh. It's Great Britain and Northern Ireland, isn't it, in the Olympics? Great Britain is Wales, Scotland, England. So you're United... saying Great Britain doesn't count Northern Ireland, but it's still United Kingdom? No, because what Ireland? United Kingdom Republic of Ireland United Kingdom includes Northern Ireland Republic of Ireland yeah Northern Ireland is included in United Kingdom but Great Britain is the little bit of land that is I Scotland thought, thought, Wales and England Northern Ireland are still technically counted as Great Britain no England. that's not that's not part of the island oh just... could save from Coutoir what about Britain. Jersey and Guernsey <laughs> Isle of Man R- Isle of White Rules are sure the best British the Hebrides Hebrides Snowden yeah, if you just said if you just said best like best United Kingdom player of all time, then it's probably George Best. I thought British was just a no. It's not George term. Best. I, I'm not having this. What? It's not George Best. Why? His career was good for a bit, and he was one of the best. Yeah, me, he's one of them, but George, he didn't have that long of a career at the top. He's he probably one of the most talented footballers of all time. El Beal. I can't sit and lie because no, I didn't watch any of these players. At all. I'm waffling. Wait, how how am I waffling? Great okay, Britain is England, Scotland and Wales. I didn't know George Wales. Best played 11 years at United. He was 11 years. Bloody oh, hell. No, it's not. So I was right. I was right. You Googled um, it. I got the other way around. Thank you. You're trying to bamboozle me. You're a fucking me. idiot, man. Yeah. Oh, fucking confusing me. Because I am right. That's just an umbrella term, isn't it? Great Britain's just an umbrella term for the United Kingdom. No, it's not. <laughs> You're trolling me now. <laughs> Refs had a stinker, I know. About what, though? 
Great Britain is the official collective name of England, Scotland, and Wales and their associated islands. It does not include Northern Ireland and therefore, therefore should never be used interchangeably with UK. Elliot Hackney, unlucky lad. What are you... What are you... <laughs> yeah, well, Wikipedia's full of shit, man. Right, let me just confirm this. Great Britain is th- this part of... Is England, Scotland, and Wales? Let me just... How do, why, what is... Don't worry, lads. I will come in with the clutch. Okay. So, listen to Theo. He knows everything. Great Britain is England, Scotland, and Wales, period. Yeah, thank you. United Kingdom yeah. is England, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland. That's what I said. Period. The British Isles, England, Scotland, Wales, Republic of Ireland, Northern Ireland, Isle of Man, Channel Island, period. Elliot Hackney, do your research, mate. That's why I said he's not the best British player of all time. Was Bale always number 18 for Real Madrid? No. No, wasn't he 11? That's what I thought. He, he got demoted. Did he get demoted? He, he, first he left, didn't he? That's probably why. Who's 11 now? Is it Vinicius Junior? Ben's off. Rail. Bale. Rog Fury. So we've had a stinker. Top, no, then? sir. Huh? Is he going up top? Correct. It must be, yeah. Oh, this is, this it's is so he... annoying how Real, like also by the way Real, Bale's career at Real Madrid was a joke and the fact that he gets booed is embarrassing just because he likes golf people use the terms UK and Great Britain in the same way well factually they are not the same oh so. Arsenal legends just come on it's Unlucky always Josh. interesting when you get <laughs> he's a bias he was a baller you know, <laughs> I know. we just didn't really do it's much. always interesting when you get players that are really good at football but they actually hate football like I'm pretty sure Carlos Tevez apparently despised football another one Asuakoto Asu Asu that's what I just said <laughs> only because I told you no, what? what? That's, that's common knowledge. Yeah, he used to come out in interviews and like, yeah, I hate football. But do you know another one bank. actually? Do you know another one? Ben White. He people uh, ask him. Well, I oh, mean, he doesn't like the Dan, sport. Danny Rose, does he? Danny Rose not... apparently as well. I don't know how true that is. Yeah, yeah that. Okay. Yeah, Ben White has no idea about any other results and shit like that. Not a clue. He's just talented. Yeah, that, but I mean, I don't think he dislikes football. I just think he's he's not clued up on the sport. Like, probably likes the lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we should do that as a debate. Best British player of all time. Yeah, that's a good one. Because obviously the UK would be like George Best. How did Etron GT? Test drove that last year. <laughs> Wait, that's not part of the <laughs> spaceship. It's unbelievable. Really? Yeah, it's too expensive. Gabby Igbonhor. Yeah, it's potential. I oh, mean... oh, Rhys James has gone for a sneaky one. Patrice Evra too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <sighs> Elliot, I should have listened to you. He's French, but could be included. I want to hear you, your opinions as England fans. How would you rate... The, the, best four, in the, world. the four England right backs <laughs> like from best to worst oh rank them yeah so Trent Walker Reese James Trippier Trent. I think I think if he's not next to Van Dijk then maybe Reese James tops it for me but it's a, really yeah maybe oh, Kyle, Wa- Kyle Walker yeah first. because you, you use Trent for your your, your attacking prowess but the reason why Trent's so you? good is because of his He's, you know, delivering yeah, the look ball. Van, look Van, Van Dyke doesn't hit the ball for him. No, but look at when Van Dyke was injured. The struggles Liverpool had at the back. I think Kyle Walker gets slept on. Kyle Walker's fantastic, yeah. But to be, I think, I think one of us could play against, uh, play beside Van Dyke, and he'd make us look good. I think that's how good Van Dyke is. I think he can make anyone look good beside him. Um, I agree. In terms of success, isn't Walker first? I uh, yeah. So you get slept on. By who? By everyone. <laughs> For me, it goes Walker, Trent, Reese, KT. Wait, Kieran Tripp. Wait, was he the fourth one you were talking yeah. about? Well, yeah, there's not another one, is there? No, I'm missing. Lamptey. <laughs> right, no. <laughs> Got him, down Wait, it. Who else is? Who else is potentially going? Or like, is a right back that could go? One per second, no. James Ward Prowse. Right, James Ward Prowse, right, right back. back. Yeah, solid. Yeah. I think he's one of the most underrated Premier League players as well. Yeah, I that's think a good I, shout. You I know what? I'm going to amend my one. Who did yeah. I say? I can't remember who you said. Matip. You said Matip. Yeah, Ward Prowse, definitely. Ward Pr- I think he's getting the credit he deserves like this season, but last season, I've yeah. always thought he's underrated. Yeah, same. Pro- Apart from... He's free kick he was, he was smashing it on FPL and obviously getting the free kicks and whatnot. I'll bring him in. Nah, he has so five games I, think, I think the actual ranking's got to be Trent, Reese, Walker, Trippier, I reckon. Oh, mate, you, you're disrespectful. James Tavernier, now that... The only reason he doesn't get in the England squad is because he's playing in Scotland. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> he, he is quality. Yeah, but, I mean, you've got to take into account that Trent Alexander-Arnold no, I didn't. and Carl Walker are playing for the two best teams No, that's not what world. I'm saying. I'm saying Tavernier. Gareth Southgate is not going to go, fucking hell, James Tavernier is so good. No, but he should go, let's give him a shot. 
in well, a friendly. Even Why though, not? Even though he is unreal, they're like, look how many right Mate, James got. Madison. I know, he's got a lot James, of got James Madison, Harvey Barnes. They, like, people yeah. like that don't even get a look in. You think yeah. James Tavernier plays for Why not give him a shot in a Rangers friendly? Is... Why not give him a shot? I want to see James Tavernier <laughs> in the Prem. Because they've got four right backs. Why don't Arsenal sign James Tavernier? <laughs> We've got Tommy Yasu now. See, see, James Tavernier, I don't think he'd want to go to any other club because currently he's a captain of Rangers. He's on the penalties. He's getting... I also I, I yeah. also did but... watch the old firm at the weekend and I have to say I'm not impressed by James Tavernier's You're crossing. Uh, to be fair, they were just hit and hope. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, I, I think going forward he, he's not that great, but he's probably pretty solid going, uh, like defensively. So. Normally, good he's quite decent, card, normally he's quite decent <laughs> going forward. It was just, yeah, he had a good... He had a good Special card if you watch, year. if you watch Rangers games in Europe, it was incredible how well they were all playing. How yeah, but they did you? concede quite a lot, though, didn't they? Five minutes added time. Are it's they Dortmund, to be fair? Oh, look at that kit! It's right there. Really oh nice yeah, kit. there we go. Really nice kit. He got it off classic football shirts. Check them out. Fantastic partners. What, what, what year is that? That's got to be oh two oh three. Tapping here without penalties be... is nothing. I think the most iconic Real Madrid has got to be the the the, the win, actually oh five to be fair. Players. Oh, you didn't go, did you? Um, I went to Hampton Park and watched. I've been to Hampton Park before. I went to Hampton Park and watched Rangers versus. Oh my! God. I was at Hampton Park when it begins Dan with P. Uh, that, team uh, in oh, official. No, no, no. Port some. Oh. Oh, oh! Got a serious head injury. Peter Brown. Oh yeah, Peter uh, Peter Head. Peter Head. Yeah, Peter Head versus. Why the fuck was Peter Head at Hamden? What was that for? It was a final, Scottish Cup final, and James what Tavernier scored an absolute worldie, and I watched it. To be fair, he can score open play goals as well. I just thought. Nacho's hurt his head. Yeah. It's Nacho Day. It's yeah. <laughs> a good one. Yeah, it's decent. I don't know. Right. Poor Thomas Tuchel. Best trio midfield for England. Um, Foden. Declan Rice. Declan Rice. Money Mace. Declan Rice. Jude Bellingham. Jude Bellingham. Oh, you mean now as opposed to all time? Right now. It's, I think it is. Phillips, Declan Rice, Jude Bellingham, in my opinion. Two CDMs? No, Declan Rice is a ball carrier now. He's not a CDM. Yeah, I still can't eight. believe he didn't win anything with that English team. That was criminal. Did you watch the Rooney We've related to Stuart Hogg. You know what? I get that yeah. a lot. You watched the Rooney doc? Rooney documentary. No, I've been told it's good though. It's fantastic, yeah. And I take it because he's a quality rugby player. Josh Lucy. What sport did he play? Josh Lucy? Yeah. Lucy, Lucy, Apple Juicy. They played for England. Rugby. Oh, Rowan. Part of the Rugby World Cup winning team, I think. Once had a piss. What, 2003? Yeah. I once had a piss next to... Um, Chris Hoy, I did. I had a piss next Martin to Chris Johnson. Hoy. Johnson. John Martin Johnson. Yeah. He's from Opie, you know, where I live. Really? Yeah, yeah. I had a piss next to him in, yeah, at Wembley Stadium. No, at Cardiff Stadium. Because Leicester Tigers is... Uh, oh, la la, oh. Did that. Leicester Tigers is like a five-minute drive from... Oh, no, you know Obi Town? You ever been to Obi yes. Town? Filmed there with Christian Fuchs. Did you? Yeah, with you. He went to the Astro ages ago and he walked... Oh, that's just Meadow. That's just... Yeah, it's not... Oh. Yeah, so the, the, the local football club is opposite the Tigers ground. Right, Tigers training ground. Who do you support then in rugby? Leicester Tigers. I support England. <laughs> oh, you've done me there. <laughs> The, uh, it's not really happened for him at Chelsea, has it? Bless him. I bet Martin Johnson put you to shame. Although the, though. although the whole of the Leicester Tigers team at the moment is South African, so. So I mean, um, Chelsea haven't really done well with any like signing forwards, really. Like ones that have just turned up. They've all stunk, haven't they? Morata. The, that's the, that's the curse. The number nine. Torres. Curse. That's why Havertz does well because he's not really a proper nine. Ever since they replaced Drogba. Yeah, Drogba, well, Diego Costa was pretty good. He was oh, right. he was, to be fair. Was shit house. Do you think Everton are going down now? Yeah. <sighs> it's going to be a sad day. If you, look, terrible, at, if you look at the fixtures, I think Burnley can take more points off their I agree. Uh, running. I'll tell you Everton. what, if Everton go down, that's like when Newcastle Ellis went down, is running. Yeah, he's For some reason, I don't think I, 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 I can't see Everton getting back up like easily. No, that's surely they have. Wait, surely they have to. But, but then, then again, the how long did it take Newcastle to get back up? Five years, maybe? Ellis Genge is that, that good. Long? Oh. Was it five years? Must have been, yeah. I don't think it was that long. Okay, sure about rugby. Yeah, all right. Well, people are talking about it. So. No, I do actually like rugby, to be fair. He had, to, he, he, he had to fill in for a completely different position in uh, the Six Nations because one of the, I think, actual props got injured. So he basically had to do the job of a guy that was like 40 kilos heavier. Who was this? Nice. And he did a pretty good job. Well, one minute to go until the game's Genge. over. 
Uh, who do you think England's number one keeper oh, is? That was a guy I shushed on pro clubs. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Uh, who, my brother played rugby, and I was like, oh, do you know that guy? He was like, yeah, yeah. He was like, you kill you in real yeah, life. Yeah, like, he's a unit. Who do you think England's keeper is for Qatar? Aaron Ramsdale. No, nah, Pickford. It's got to be in it. It'll be Not when, if he's playing in the championship, it won't be. Bro, he, he, he can use in the Euros, I think. I know he did. It was quality for England. Just like Harry Maguire. Those short arms need to be put to good use, mate. <laughs> Every time I see him, I see him as a T-Rex now. Oh, what Ben's my look What at him, a man. boy. What look a at, man. Look at him, man. He looks very His Instagram well. is so good. When he releases the little music trends, like the music montages of Elite. Going home in his big guy. No, I think I think I think if Ramsdale starts the season really well next year, then he might. Too good to say. The whistle's thanks. not even oh, where yeah. yet in the road they thing each other. And that is the final score. Real Madrid three, Chelsea one, game over. Lewis called it. I did. That was my second Wait, one. It was off camera. Well, I said, no, yeah, yeah. I said I wanted a 3 1, but I thought it was going to be a 1 1. Um, That's pretty nuts, isn't it? Obviously, the game actually. Oh happened. my God. Bayern Munich lost. Yeah, they lost 1 0. Jeez. But. Hey, was, was Bayern at home? No. No. Oh okay. my God. Una Emery got a yellow card. <laughs> um, <laughs> the thing is, though, about that Bayern game, they got a nice home leg yeah. at the Allianz Arena. Mm-hmm. And uh, Villarreal could get ruined there. Very, very. If only that's it. Well, it's, it's, it's an Emery team, so maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, that's They're true. They're just sitting and defending. But if Lewandowski no shows up, it's game over for Villarreal, isn't it? Yeah. Surely the whistle's going now, ref. Like, just blow the whistle. Hasn't it been confirmed full time? Are we it's that far behind? <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah it's full time. There it goes. Finally, right. Remedy three. Chelsea won. Which, your, which was your favourite goal in the game? Uh, the second header. Benzema's third. So, yeah, oh. any of the headers. The second third. header. Both of them were good. I loved them. Big Benz won me. 60 quid, very happy. And Kai. That's a Man, Mercedes you know, Benz of a performance. Too happy, um, <laughs> yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Uh, we are going to be doing these live streams <laughs> a lot more often as well. They're coming regularly. Yeah, they are. Got another one on the weekend for the biggest game of the season. Uh, what and you it's not Man Everton Burnley Liverpool. League yeah. Two. yeah. What are you up to this week, Lewis? Anything we can look forward my to? My birthday. Oh, yeah, of course it is. Yeah, my birthday. Happy 23rd for 23rd. Friday. Yeah. Which game do you reckon is bigger? Norwich Burnley or Man City <laughs> Liverpool? <laughs> Norwich Burnley. I agree 100% anyways on that note ladies and gentlemen if you've enjoyed this be sure to drop a like and subscribe with notifications turned on because obviously you want to be notified when we go live on Sunday for the big game yep we've got a pod tomorrow got a podcast tomorrow coming out yep we'll film one tomorrow as well everything in pit side is going bigger and better so stay tuned subscribe and we'll see you all soon bye 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 bye